Yo! All right, Whoa. guys. We're, we're live for a Yoanti live sneaker ch chat special. What we have tonight is going to be viewer questions only. We have no planned topics. We want to get to as many questions as possible. <clears throat> so what we need from you guys is to start asking questions. Some of them might turn into longer discussions and topics. Some might just be lightning around questions where we just go really fast with them. So uh, we're really counting on you guys to ask a lot of questions and uh, keep the chat going. Uh, just a kind of a way to give back and connect with you guys. Uh, if for some reason we don't get to your question, you know, get, give us a second because there's going to be a lot of people asking questions and we're not trying to ignore anyone or anything like that. So uh, first let me introduce everyone that's here tonight. <clears throat> we should have a few more people hopping in, in a little bit, but we have Sneaker Champ 20, uh, 23? No, sneaker? The sneaker Champ. Oh, okay, Sneaker Champ. Ross. How are you? Good. Welcome. Welcome. Good to have you. Thanks for having me. No problem. We've got Nate. He's setting up the wall of fruit. He's trying to find the <laughs> fruitiest kicks he can find. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, King Foam, Solar Red, <laughs> Statue of Liberties. Are those, uh, are those the DB free runs? Yes, sir. Nice, nice. Kobe Easters. All kinds of good stuff. Well, welcome, man. You excited for some of these questions? Uh, I hope the viewer base will not let us down. Matter of fact, I have faith in the viewer base. Yes. Anxious yeah. for good questions. Hello. Yeah. Thanks for having me. No problem. We got Jake anticipating the grape release tomorrow like all of us. Jake, JKE5149, welcome. Yeah, what's up, man? It just so happens I have a little bit of purple in my wardrobe, believe it or not, so great fives will go pretty well with it. And uh, go Pirates. Yes. Go Pirates. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of... Purple out tomorrow. Fitted on. Sporting the purple. Uh, Henry H K. Is it Statterman or Staterman? Uh, Statterman. Statterman. Uh, King of Kicks eight hundred five. Welcome. 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 <laughs> uh, Billy R joining us. Ooh, oh, oh, he's got his Knicks pick up. I'm not going to talk any trash. I'm going to wait till the game's over. I'm pretty sure the Celtics just scored possibly the lowest amount of points at halftime in the NBA history. <laughs> what did they put up? Twenty. Yeah, it was. Uh, I think Four it was thirty-nine. Points. Not good, but even the Knicks, even the Knicks didn't really play that good of a half. Even the Knicks didn't play that good of a half either, though. So. No, it was some uh, some they abysmal should... shooting by both teams. They should be up. Yeah, they should be up like forty right now. But hey, welcome, welcome. How you doing? Thank you, thank you. Let's go, Knicks. Yeah, yeah, here we go. <coughs> go Pacers. <coughs> <coughs> All right, well, let's just start it off with Malfi. He says, what do you plan on copying tomorrow? Uh, I'm going after the grapes. Uh, I think, Billy, you're going after the pure platinums and grapes? Well, actually, I was in a mall in New Jersey yesterday and with my girlfriend, and we both put in raffle tickets. And today she got a call. She got one from Foot Locker for the Platinums and one from Champs for the Grapes. So I'm locked down. Good for you. Nice. No tax, too. Shout out to Jersey. Uh, yeah, same here. I don't pay tax. And are you getting the Pure Platinums, you said? Oh, yeah. I've been waiting on those. Yep. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Henry, you going after anything? Passing on everything? Yeah, everything's a pass for me. You're sleeping. That's nice, though. You get to rest in. Uh, Jake, how about you? Um, I hit up my local shop to see uh, if I could get a pair of the grapes. So, so I'm going to pick those up tomorrow. and uh, That's really all I'm planning on. I'm going to pass on the pure platinum. It's just a little too, uh, a little too much of the fruit wall style for me. Yeah. Shout out to the fruit wall. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> uh, whoa, you get, you get the taxis out there. Banana. Yeah, you get everything over there. Get a little mango. Mango. Got a little action. watermelon. Yeah. Got some passion fruit. <laughs> uh, you copping anything tomorrow, Nate? Uh, double up on grapes. Uh, mm -hmm. If anyone needs a size 9, retail plus shipping, first come, first serve. I'm not wanting to double up. I have an extra pair, so... It's a generous offer. I'm sure, someone will take that. Ross, how about you? Sleeping in? 
Uh, yeah, well, I actually have to take the SAT tomorrow. Ooh. It really sucks. Yeah. But, uh, oh, luckily, man. I already have my early release pair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I, I have my older pair. But, yeah, they look so. good, though. Yeah, yeah, they, um, not bad cruising. Yeah. So, I'm happy with them, but yeah. I also don't really have the money here at the time to get another pair. Um, but, yeah, I'm not copping the LeBrons, although I do think they're cool. Um... I just I'm saving up my money. Cool, cool. Uh, now, Nick Gahados says, "What is a good price for a pair of Deadstock Mocha Threes?" Someone want to hop in on that one? Deadstock Mocha Threes. Yeah. What size? Yeah. Let's just size call it. Let's, let's, let's call it. Let's call it. I would say two two fifty. For uh, yes. If it's OG box, two fifty. Um, Assuming okay. wearable too. Hopefully that answered his questions. The fooling night, uh, the fool night wolf asks, "How do you think the hype will be on the release day of the grapes?" Uh, similar to any eleven release. It that that shoe I think even has more draw because ladies, children, classic classic colorway. And, and people are not. Quality or not, the thirst is going to be comparable to an 11. Breads, and people, are, people are trying to triple up, not not only double up. There are yeah. people who want to triple up, so that's where it gets a little crazy. Mr. Crispy Coyle says, he asks, if you had to rock nothing but one brand for the rest of your life, which would it be? I hate uh, saying it, but Nike. I would say Nike, too. Nike. Nike. Oh, but back to the other question about how crazy this grape's going to be. Yeah. Um, at 6 o'clock this morning... There were almost 200 people lined up outside of Champs in Times Square. Yeah. So, <laughs> I've seen I mean, at that put, point, just yeah. paying 20. Right. Like, th th that is absurd. I'm not one to pay over retail, but I mean, I'm not going to be camping uh, like 20 hours for the thing. No, actually, Champs Times Square, they release them at midnight still. It's like the one place that still does. Oh, that's pretty cool then. Yeah. Uh, but um, but other malls and stuff. I know Henry showed a picture of the Beverly Center in Cali, and the line was pretty crazy. Yeah, it's gonna that be. Was this gonna, people are going nuts over these. Um, yeah, avoid that and take Nate up on his offer. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Six so nine. Yeah. Holla holla. Yeah. Jeff Bull asks, "Are you guys getting the grapes? If so, what method? Online or in store?" Uh, it sounds like most of us are gonna. We've already kind of got either we want a raffle or a connection in store. Um. Or I bet most people will try, you know, online as well. So mm -hmm. no raffle one, two no spots one for me. Yeah. So you uh, guys really get that lucky with these raffles? I really do. I I, I can't. I've never won a raffle. Um, I've well, won the my Dornbeckers was the only thing that I've ever gotten off of RSVP. I've never won a store raffle. The power of the reach around. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Donut karma and no comment. Yep. Oh, I mean, I certainly, to where I get hooked up on, I certainly give good karma, but not my, my local stores. Hey, Nate. Zach, yes, Ray Cow asks, is the mesh on the Roshi runs rough or soft? Depending on what Roshi run, if it's just Roshi run, I think all of them are soft. Yeah. But super, super soft. For instance, uh, of course. for instance, this is the F, the FB, the F Go ahead, I'll say it. Football <laughs> pack, and this is supposed to be a little coarser of an upper, and even even so, like literally, that it's that's soft, man. <laughs> it, it's it's like wearing a sock. Seriously, I can't describe it any other way. Very soft. When I'm filming a video, I wear my road shoes without socks on. <laughs> that's disgusting. At the same yeah. time, as it is elegant. They're so Ooh. so comfortable. So, Jason. Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? Mr. Donner. Howdy, Jason, sir. Welcome, man. How's it going? Shout out to the Reezy98. He's he's in this chat live right now. And he asks, what's a good price for size 13 Deadstock Thunder 4s? Retail. Retail. Yep, I would say between retail and 200 Yeah, I would say 205 tops. Mm -hmm. But I've certainly seen them 185 195 and that's basically retail with tax, ship, depending on what yeah. state. Yeah. yeah. Um, the cops? Oh, what did you say, Jake? A lot of people ask about pricing for shoes. And, you know, not that eBay is the end-all, be-all, but it's 
pretty simple if you just go to an advanced search, do completed listings, and you can see what people have paid for listings, and you can at least get a gauge off of that. So a lot of people ask, you know, what's a good price? Ultimately, you determine what's a good price, but you can see what others have paid by searching that way. Cosign on that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Marvel. Great way of doing it. Yep. Uh, the Copped Kicks asks, what are we thinking about the new Fire Red 3 picks that came out recently? I think that they're still early picks, and um, it's always tough to say until we actually see the shoe. Yep. Supreme Josh says, is there a release date for the Black Tongue Fives? Sometime in August, I think, right? August 31st. August 31st. Shout out that app, Jason. What's that app you use? The J23 app. Yeah, I J23. downloaded that today, actually. <laughs> it's good stuff. Yeah, I was looking to see if I saw, yeah, August 31st. Uh, Jimmy Snuka asks, Aqua Fives or Grapes? So I, I, I guess the Aqua Fives, the, the black grapes or grapes? What do you guys think? I like it's the friends and family to, better because it's something new. Yeah, it's hard to say too. I, I I'd like to get those in hand too, mm -hmm. but from the new box, or actually looks like it's it's nice on some of pictures and videos I've seen. It actually looks like it's going to be like Cav Four, new buck, and not. And I'll be fine with that. Yes. Bread yeah. Four, Cav Four. Uh, mm -hmm. Billy and I were just talking about how well the Metallic Fives from mm -hmm. 2011, yeah, the summer 2011 release. Mine have held up great. Yeah. And yeah, so mine too. Good. I just took them out of nice the box. And they had, like, no yellowing on the mesh. I'm at the peak mine like, now. On the bottom either. Yeah. The, uh, I don't know, I think Jordan Brand is really smart for dropping the grapes the first weekend in May. Because everybody's feeling like spring's here, summer's coming, and right. it's yeah, a perfect color for shoot. summer. Um, yeah. That's probably the only reason why I would go with the white grapes oh, right now. Uh, I mean, because sorry. Um, white shoes are really fresh for summer. But um, ask me in a few months, and it'll probably be the black grapes. Yeah. That's your 11 pair? This is my 11 pair, and I've, I've rocked it the entire summer. Like, Mine jump is still, still icy blue. Complete. Let me pull my. Let me check. Only, only bit is a little bit of tinge darkness on the heel, but man. Great shoe. Great yeah, shoe. That's a shoe that. So I'm even yeah, when those beat, dirty even grapes. Beat, even when that shoe is beat, it still looks pretty good to me. Mm -hmm. it, like some this dropped uh, August twentieth, two thousand eleven. Yep. Says my receipt. Yeah. Yeah, mine are still blue, but I've only rocked mine a few times. Like, I think maybe three or four times I've rocked mine. Yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, Stefano Allegra asks, "How did you guys like the Floro Janowskis? I really like them. I still need to find. While they aren't everyone's cup of tea, I think they look dope for summer." Um, I'm not a big Janowski fan personally. It too, it reminds me too much of a Vans off the wall model, just boat shoe style, just the silhouette. Just not a fan. If I was going to cop a Janowski, it wouldn't have been a digital floral floral print. That wouldn't be my first. You, you know what I mean? Like, if I liked the Janowski, I would I would have had other colorways before. It's not my cup of tea. Anyone else um, like Janowskis? Uh, I actually don't mind them. Uh, a lot of kids in my school rock them. I actually don't have a pair, but I think that uh, one of the early colorways, like uh, I think people call it the Tiffany or like the Tiffany mids. I think those are kind of fresh. I do like the mid version compared to the regular low ones. Um, I thought the florals were nice, but it's almost similar to the corks with the anti-hype. Like they were so hyped up for some people that um, I, it destroyed all interest. But even if they weren't hyped, I wasn't going to cop. I agree with Nate that if I was going to get Janowski's, it wasn't going to be that as my first one. I feel like it's almost similar to the uh, like. The, the FB Yeezy as your first one of the Roshis. Yeah, I would want one to beat and to 
put through the trial process to see if my foot likes it and to see if I'm going to like looking at it while it's on my foot. But my friend Ellis has a pair of uh, just the black and white Janowskis, and they're actually super clean, and his are super beat, but they still look pretty good. So I'm a fan of them. Let's see. Uh, Jimmy Snuka asks, who do you think is the most slept-on player in the playoffs right now? Scout. James Harden. Slept on player in the playoffs right now? Yeah. Paul George. Only player in the playoffs with 20 and 10 average. Chandler Parsons. Fair enough. Jeff Green. Nate I Robinson. No. I don't think Jeff no. Green slept on. <laughs> nah, I don't think so either. I'm being sarcastic. Yeah. Uh, Jared Jackson was asking the Jordan Lowe's coming out on June 8th. And are both pairs coming out the same day? I think he said before the the black and red 11s as well. The lows and no, they're not. It's just the the ones that J.R. Smith has on right now, aka the Joe Johnsons, the black mesh upper with the white patent leather and the icy bottom. Mm -hmm. Basically a reverse Concord. Yeah, and I guess it's got red hits on the back. Yeah, they I look like really those. nice though. I like those. I like a lot. those a lot. Growing on me. I yeah. Think I think it's better that they did the icy sole rather than the red bottom. Yep. Even though I'm going to be regretting that in about a year or so. Yep. But uh, yeah, for now those those look really good. Yeah. That ice bottom. Uh, Mr. Crispy Coyle asked, if you could do a bespoke Air Force One, what theme or color would you choose? Be descriptive. Ooh, have you guys seen that Reggie Miller joint? Ooh wee. Hmm. It would be I themed after the Pacers, I think. I actually saw <laughs> really fire. dope. It was kind of, I'm not sure if it was a custom or a bespoke, but it was like a, it was a Tiffany Air Force One with that same kind of like crocodile leather print on the upper with the blue and the, and the chrome swoosh. It looked really good. For me, just because of the cost of that shoe, you know, seven dollars $800, what it costs for a bespoke somewhere in that neighborhood, it would probably be something really personal to me. You know, so I, I don't know what that event would be, but, you know, like uh, the birth of a child or, like, you know, you got some some type of big life milestone. I could see doing a bespoke for that, you know, your first marriage, your first child. Um, but that type of event hasn't happened in my life. But uh, I would probably have to relate it to something to my school if I were to do one now. Uh, something ECU related would be pretty cool, but man, it's just it's a lot of money that goes into those. It would be cool just to have an opportunity to see what the materials are and options, because when I see the photos, it's just amazing what some of the results and products are that come out of that program, uh, just because they have so many unique materials available. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, real quick, uh, Celtics Knicks are back underway. KG just knocked down a shot to make it a 10-point game, so... And on that note, I'll be back. <laughs> I mean, my thought is this. Yeah, the Celtics played an awful first half, but the Knicks didn't play that great either. Ah, l -oop to Chandler. Um, all right, get back to some of these questions. Yeah, guys, keep them coming. Got 90 live viewers right now. Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, it's viewer questions only tonight, so... We're taking all and any questions. They don't have to all be sneaker related either. I actually have something to say about the Beast book if That's we have time. I was time. about to say, is there any other responses yeah. on that? Um, so I, I've actually thought about a decent amount um, just because I'm so fascinated with the whole process. But if you guys don't know, my favorite movie is The Warriors, which is like a gang movie from 79 uh, about base. I mean, I'm not going to get into the movie, but uh, they wear like these leather jackets that have like their logo on the back and I've always thought it'd be really cool to get like an all leather uh, like shoe and use like that same type of like color from like a leather biker jacket and like have elements of their design logo like throughout the shoe just cause like I don't know that movie's kind of personal to me like really I don't know I watched it with my dad when I was younger a lot and uh, it's, it's my favorite movie so I, I've I thought that would be pretty cool to do Cool, cool. Anyone else want to hop in on that question? Henry? Jason? I actually know nothing about them, really, so I'm not even going to try to act like I do. It's all good. 
Stefano had a good follow-up question yeah. when we were talking about the um, the Janowskis. He said, but wasn't your first LeBron 10 the cork for both myself and for Ross? He's right. Yeah. But the thing is, I didn't like all the colorways that came out in the LeBron 10. The home regular 10 and the gold medal were about the only ones I liked. I got the gold medal 10s. My homie Jake, I looked out for him because he's by far balls deep on LeBron shoes. So no homo. So I looked out for him on those. And on the homes, I figured they are going to be going on sale, so I just waited. That's the only reason. Still a sick shoe. Don't get me wrong. But Janowski, the, the silhouette itself, I'm not into. So that's why I'm totally sleeping on that shoe, regardless yeah. of colorway. My response to that is that, personally, I'm not a huge fan of wearing, like, uh, the synthetic, um, I guess you'll jump on me for Roshi's, <laughs> but, like, I don't really do all the hyperfuse and like fly wires and stuff. I, I prefer like a, a leather or just like a mesh. So for me, like none of them were that grabbing to me. And LeBron's in general, I'm not a huge fan of. Um, I think I like some of the silhouettes. I just prefer not to wear the that material. So for me, uh, I wasn't really too interested. I did like the gold medals, although I I lost hard on them. Um, but. I mean, the corks was an opportunity where I had to cop for retail. So, I mean, hype aside, I'm, I'm not letting that go. Cool, cool. Uh, let's see, do you guys ever think they'll re-release the Air Yeezy 1? No. 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 Well, uh, Mr. Good 5 asks, oh, real quick, that was... Jew Label asked that question. Mr. Good5 asks, will the LeBron Pure Platinum sit on shelves due to the deserved hype behind the grapes? I don't think I think so. they're going to sit either way. I think even if they drop it by themselves with no Jordan brand retro <laughs> dropping, I think they would still sit. Yeah. That's just me personally. They're going to sit. As soon as I heard that they are a limited GR, uh, I mean, come on, man. <laughs> As soon as I heard that, I was like, dude, they're going to have these in droves. They're just going to have tons of them. Yeah. But it is what it is. I'm not feeling that shoe, so. My opinion is that whether they're going to sit or not, I don't think it's dependent on the grapes. Um, no, nah, definitely not. That's fair. Yep. Uh, let's see. Well, this one, man, uh, this could open up a, a whole topic of discussion. Uh, so we might have to go there. DJ Swifty One asks, "Best fast food place to eat?" Uh -oh. Ooh, he yeah, really this, went this, there. This, this that's what I'm saying. I was like, this All could right. go on for an hour alone. So, <laughs> uh, thing is, it's like, what are you feeling that night? Is it Italian? Is it a burger night? Yeah, I mean, best so out of all of them. Mm, you got takeout. I can't see. I'm the only one that likes what I like the best. Well, let's we'll go down the line on this one, and and we'll give everyone a shot to say, uh, <clears throat> you know, their their favorites, some of their favorites, reasons why. Um, Henry, kick it off, man. Uh, I don't know. I think Five Guys probably. I just really like the fries and burger, so that's a tough one, though. America. Five Guys is amazing. Yeah. But. Do you can because because to me there's like that's like a, a step up from fast food. Yeah, I that's think, what I was getting ready to say. Are we yeah. talking drive-through fast food? McDonald's, Taco Bell, Wendy's, KFC, Burger King, like that's fast fast food. I think we have to limit it to say it has to have a drive-through. We'll there you drive go. Drive-through window. There you right. go. Fair enough. So, so like Qdoba, Chipotle, Five They're Guys, done. those are out the window. Those are done. No, so those those are too fast. Too. No double meat hack for you, bitch. Yep. That's more yep. like jogging speed. That's not fast. So we got to go <laughs> drive through window. Yep. Drive through. Yep. That shit's got to be ready by the time you get to the register. Not like you're at the register waiting around. You know. Yes. All right. All right. So, uh, Ross, what's your drive through? Um, I don't really eat too much fast food, but I'd have to go with Dunkin'. I mean, it's not your typical fast what food, you but know? you can't. No, man, you can't go Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, man. Drive through. 
What are you getting a donut burger? I mean, <laughs> no, man. We're saying we're saying meal. We're not saying that. Croissant is top notch. A croissant. Yeah, right. Plus, with ninety eight cents, you get like the little donuts. side of hash browns. So All right, good. Man. All right, Nate. What's what's your fast food, Nate? My fast food, <laughs> and I hate to say it. But it's going to have to be the most common one I frequent because obviously the most common one I frequent would equal my best fast food, not in taste. It's going to have to be McDonald's. Like, it's yeah, it's going to have to be McDonald's. Like, it buries Taco Bell, it buries all those. Yep. I do service calls. Like, all you know, that's my job. Yeah. Like, I'm driving all day. Like, there's McDonald's everywhere. If I'm craving a sausage cheese or a McChicken, it, it's got to be McDonald's for me. The nuggets, man. The nuggets. It's just real talk, man. Yeah. See, I, I have to agree with you. I, I was, I was thinking. I like Taco Bell. I like Wendy's. I like McDonald's. Out of the, out of the big three, um, Burger King. I'm not a fan of at all. I don't like. No. Carl's Junior, Hardee's. Nah. Yeah, you yeah. guys aren't blessed. White with, Castle. No, that's I got to be real drunk. Oh, for that. well, In and Out guys, Burger. Yeah. I would choose that, but I, they, they I'm not. On the You've West lived Coast. in LA before, so you know. But like, yeah. Oh, please. I literally I ate it. Out is. But I ate like, it every day for four months. I swear to God. Yeah, <laughs> and then it's definitely on the top of my list after oh. I thought about it. Because that's like fast food, but it actually tastes. It's good. It's like quality. It's like. Yeah. Good. It's, it's it's better than Five Guys. It's like the, the quality is seems healthier than Five Guys too. The only reason I would choose Five Guys over In and Out is because of the quality <laughs> they give you. Bless you. Thank you. Um. Yeah, but McDonald's just it, you know maybe because I, I think we were all pretty much raised where we're, as kids we loved McDonald's we loved getting the toy we loved like that food was in our blood I feel like you know so it's like growing up I've always loved McDonald's always you know it's everywhere that doesn't help the matter either <laughs> there it is too yeah you. You'll drive down the street and you can see literally four within five minutes. Like, yeah, you'll see archer, arches shadowing the arches. Yep, yep. Crazy. But, what about you, Jason? Yeah. You said you had one that would blow us away. I don't know blow you away. I just don't think anybody else would choose it. But I would have to say Arby's or Chick-fil-A. And Chick I eat fast food every single day. I don't buy groceries. Sleeping. I do like Chick-fil-A. I feel like people would choose Chick Fil A if they thought about it, but nobody really likes Arby's. Like I could eat Arby's every day. Hmm. Y'all probably hadn't even heard of mine because it's a regional type spot, but it's called Bojangles. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Uh, man, <laughs> it's, it's some for real good shit. It's like it's chicken. Um, it's mostly fried chicken. It's got kind of a spicy flavor, but it is on point. If you're ever in the South and you see a Bojangles, stop. You won't be disappointed. Making me hungry for it right now, man. Yeah. If you know, like, imagine a similar menu to, like, Zaxby's, if you've been there, just where everything's chicken. It's just got a different style to it. And they serve breakfast all day, and you can never go wrong with that. Oh, yeah. Never go wrong with breakfast. What about you, Henry? Is it going to be Taco Bell? No, in and out no, whatever, dude. It's Taco <laughs> Bell, man. You're like promoting them nah, every dude, day. Half the time I go to Taco Bell and I get food, I feel like someone kicked me in the stomach afterwards. <laughs> I mean, Taco Bell's good, but half the time I feel sick after. In and Out's definitely. All right. See, so, the problem is I don't go to In and Out that much, but if you can't include Five Guys, then I have to go In and Out. So, Crispy Coil asks, I like this question because we've, I think we've just discussed it before, but. It's an interesting question. He asked, should Nike SB retro their kicks? No. I remember yeah. talking about it with uh, Fran when he was on here. Right. He different opinions where I feel that Nike SB shouldn't be retroed. And then it, it was weird because, if anything, you would think that me, the person who doesn't have as extensive of an SB collection, would want them to retro, where someone like Fran, who has every imaginable Nike SB, he said that he did because I remember... I think his example was, um, I can't remember the shoe exactly right now, it'll come to me though, um, that his pair is like kind of beat and he wants like a, a fresh brand new one to get, but it's hard to find like his size six or whatever in like the ones from 03. Uh, so I, I see what you're saying there, but I don't know, to me, it, I don't know, Nike SB, it's not like, they they didn't follow a player, so it's not from his 
Like, it's not Jordan's shoes from the 97 season. Like, I, I feel like a lot of the SBs are indicative of, like, the shops or the era. And I don't know. I, I, I just don't feel like it would do the, the shoe justice to bring it back. Yeah, I agree with that. Like, like the skunks, like, um, to me, that's more of, like, a creation. And, and it should just be left at that. Why would you want to remake that? I, I yeah. don't. I mean that that's even like that just came out a couple of years ago. Um, but like I mean, I have hundreds of them. Right. Yeah, I I don't think they will. That's that's my thought. I really don't think so. No, I don't know anything about SB, so I can't speak much on it. But just from what I see Nike doing as a business, now not my opinion from a collector's standpoint, but from what I see Nike doing as a business, it looks like they're really trying to capitalize on the popularity of sneakers right now. For example, look at the number of Jordan Retros that are releasing, the frequency, the former rare sneakers that are now being superly produced, you know, mass numbers. So I could see... Nike wanting to capitalize on sneaker popularity and SBs by possibly retroing some of their more popular models. And that would disappoint a lot of collectors, but I could easily see Nike doing it just from you know, a profit standpoint. Yeah. Let's see here. I had a, there was a good one here somewhere. Hold on. Mm. Uh, um, you see that tweet? Looks like those black bottom, the Jordan nines we were talking about last, maybe a couple weeks ago with Kilo. Yeah. The what ones that were made by mistake with the black that. bottoms. Now yeah, they're releasing. <laughs> okay. I call them the air card. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The air card. The asterisks. Yeah. Some of you actually look there. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Make sure you go follow the Reezy98 on the Swag app. Uh, let's see. Hold on, what was that? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> uh, Shoebox Bracelets asks, what's your favorite beater? Nate, I think yeah, that's a good question for you. <laughs> My favorite beater. Is that implying that well, he has a lot of beaters? No. No. Uh, he's going another direction. I'll be, <laughs> pe I'll, I'll, be I'll keep it PG. Uh, I knew what you were doing. I got it, Andy. too. Yeah. Good old jerkatorium. Um, I'm going to have to go for my favorite beater. Is probably going to be... Ah. <sighs> I have no idea. I have too many. I don't think I have a favorite. Really, he ran. <laughs> it's the most comfortable beater. I hate yeah. to say it. Because it ain't got no tech, but it's yeah, the most yeah. comfortable beater. What's, what's tough is, is, you know, the term beater. Some people consider different, you know, beaters different things. Except yeah. I beat my kicks. Like, right. none of them. Maybe my work yeah. boots, but you don't want to hear me say, oh, my Columbia work boots. You yeah. really don't want to hear me say that. No. Nah. For me, it's like the grocery store pair, you know, the ones that you don't clean. You know, like to me, that's a beater pair. If I yeah. clean them, then they're not beater pairs. But I have kits that I really don't clean. Like I have a pair of Air Max 90s, and that's my beater pairs. They're white, black, and purple. I throw them on all the time. You know, quick run around. I'm done. These are my beaters. Zoom rookies. Beat to death. These are my work kicks. I do clean them maybe once a month, but only because they get covered in insulation and muck, drywall dust, you name it. So these, I guess. Anyone else? Um, I like my Reebok pumps that I wear, my customized pair that I made off the uh, Reebok website. And uh, my red Roshis are... Those have climbed mountains. Those those are B. Yeah. What about you, Henry and Jason? 
My favorite beaters? Yeah, man. Probably my uh, Iguana Roshis. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. That's weird. Rick Tejados, is T Blake joining? Uh, I'm not sure. We hope not. No. <laughs> oh, man. Um, okay. That's complete. <laughs> God, I hope fucking. <laughs> Go ahead, spit it out. Oh my god. Uh, you guys want to do a uh, a rock resell dead stock question? Ah, fuck Mary Kill. Yes. Uh, I love to share. This comes from Andy, also known as Jordan's Loft. So I'm gonna throw them out here. <clears throat> you can, you get everyone's gonna we'll, get, we'll go down the line. You get to rock one, keep one DS, and resell it. Okay, we have the LeBron 10 Gold Medal Edition. We've got the LeBron 8 South Beaches. And we have the LeBron 7 Hardwood Classic uh, PE, the, the, the orange and, and royal, like the next colorway. So All right. Those three... And you've got to rock, resell, and dead stock. Starting with Ross. Uh, pains me to say it, but probably, huh? Probably rock the hardwood classics. Huh. Um, is, is this purely based on looks or like? It's overall? based on 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 what if you have all three kicks in your hand right now? What would you oh. do? <laughs> If I had all three, none of them are going on my foot. <laughs> uh, I'd probably, based on pure pure looks, I'd rock the Hardwood Classics because I've seen them in in person, and, like, they're really nice. My friend has them. Um, I'd probably keep the South Beaches DS and then throw away the other ones or resell them, really. Yes. <laughs> uh, Nate? Sell the South Beaches. Okay. Stock the PE. And rock whatever that last one was. The gold medal. Gold medal 10. Yes, gold medal 10. Yep. Uh, so do. Jason Donner. Is he muted? Uh, he's talking on no. the phone, I believe. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm good now. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, I would... Oh my god. I would rock I would rock that PE. I would stock the I would stock the South Beach and I don't even want to resell the other one, but I, I'm left with no other choices, so pull an eight and uh donate it to the nephew. Yeah, I'll, I'll <laughs> Bye bye, gold medal ten. Wow. I'll give, it a, I'll give it away to one of you guys. You're so kind. What about you, Jake? I'll resell the South Beach. I'll dead stock the PE, and I'll rock the LeBron ten gold medal. Nice, Henry. Um, I probably sell the gold medal. Um, and then, uh, I don't know. Probably uh, rock the P and keep the South Beach DS. I don't know. Cool. Yeah, I I'm torn. I'm torn. Um, I'm trying to think what I'd what I'd rather. What I mm, I think I'd rock. Realistically, I think I'd the gold medal ten is such a, a wearable shoe. That I could wear that shoe almost every day, and it, it goes with a lot. So I think I'd find myself wanting to rock that one. I like, I love the South Beach Eights. I would keep those dead stock, and I would actually get rid of the PE. That's you just the PE in person. I no, I haven't. I haven't. But uh, that's a rough question. Yeah, it no, is. that's, that's why. That's why I love. Yeah, uh, shout out to Jordan's Loft. He does it. He does this every week, and uh, it, it's uh, it's fun because it puts you in a, a situation where 
honestly, if you actually had him in hand too, it would probably be even a harder decision. <laughs> it would be almost impossible, you know, certain times. Uh, let's see. So what, uh, SV Cuber 22 what's your thoughts on the Laney 5s? Um, I like they're using a, a nice tumble leather on them. It looks decent. Yes, sir. Well, I mean, they should be using a tumbled leather. Mm -hmm. That's how they were. Yeah. The leather, I'm saying the leather looks like it's nice. Uh, nice quality, anyways. Yeah, don't even start it on. That's how they were. Because we know how Jordan does retros. <laughs> I mean, we know that dead horse. I mean, they were tumbled, so, I mean, if you just put a straight flat leather on there, that would be a pretty poor representation. I definitely concur. Yeah, I'm going to pass on those landings. It's not for me. I still really want to find a 2,000 pair. Yeah. Undetermined. Uh, let's see. Marvelous Westy asks, Is shoe you are embarrassed to say you like or rock? Uh, there, I don't have any shoes I'm embarrassed to say I like or rock. Yeah. I think you're kind of a wankster if you have shoes that you are embarrassed to say that you like or rock. That means you're really self-conscious about yourself or your sneakers. I mean, you're probably in it for the wrong reasons if that's the case. Yeah. Some of the Jeremy Scotts I get a kick out of <laughs> with, like, the, the teddy bear on it. <laughs> oh, then there, is, there is Team No Fucks. Yeah. Just saying. But, like, it, it's not – there's nothing wrong with, you know – like I, I, I know most people in here I don't know if they like the Yeezy too. I I like the shoe a lot. You know, oh, some yeah. people are against it. I, I like it. You know, there are people who, who are hate the hype. I mean I, I like the shoe, but I wouldn't be embarrassed to say that. If you're embarrassed to say you like a shoe, then I don't know. I don't know. I mean Nate's got the fruity wall behind him, he's not embarrassed one bit. Yeah, he's not showing at all off his fruity shoes tonight. Guys, wilding out with fruit. That's a wall of fruit. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys tune in uh, real late, that he's gonna balance each one in his head too. Yeah. <laughs> After he takes a few shots. Yeah. After yeah. licking the sauce. Uh, <clears throat> uh, like the NBA halftime show, the lady who's got the plates. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Just keep stacking them. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So, we, 100 live viewers right now. Um, okay. So, for some reason, this is a great question for Nate. I say that sarcastically. Um, N1K Santa 2 says, Can you guys talk about Pyrex, Pyrex and if you think it's worth the price that the shirts are selling for, which is like two to 300? Hey, if you're about that life, <laughs> go for it. Go for it. Yeah. Me personally, no. yeah. I'm a 33-year-old man. I don't need no $300 shorts. Yeah. And yeah. the shorts are weird. It's like shorts on top of pants, and it's like one piece, and it looks like you have poop in your drawers. You got a bottle. <laughs> like, I, I don't know, man. I, I'm not about that. Not to hate on you guys that got it like that. If you got it like that, do your thing, brother, but no. I don't really do the whole like religious prints all over. Not yeah. my style. Plus, I'd rather spend that X amount of money on sneakers and just rock Nike sportswear or like other like Nays wearing staple, which I haven't commented yet, but I'm liking it. Thank you, sir. I'm getting my staple game up. I got plenty of pieces. Yeah. <laughs> so big, big J. ASC says, have any of you guys tried repainting your Jordans? I just did it for the first time. It's not that hard, actually. I've never tried. Any of you guys? I okay. had um, a f not a f I had an acquaintance do a pair of mine before. Like, as a restoration. But I've mm -hmm. never attempted. I'm really bad with painting. Um, I've been trying to paint recently in, uh, in art, but I just suck. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone else, Nate? Any any paint jobs? No. However, remember back in the oh man, I can't say back in the day hardly. No one's gonna get what I'm saying. All right, back in the day, like <laughs> rocking uh, Ruse. Shouts the guy that just mentioned Ruse in the comments there. They had like 
what you thought was like a paint stick. It had a sponge on the end. You'd shake the sun bitch, turn it upside down, and you'd go around like where all the scuffs where it took off the paint on top of the leather. I've done that. But that was like 10 year old Nate back in 90, so. Other than that, I have not tried. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> There's like a mute war going on right now. Uh. Right. The, young, the young sneakerhead says, Nate, would you please do the bear pig shake? No, no I will not. <laughs> the bear pig is sleeping right now. If she wakes up, uh, she'll make a cameo. But this is not The awesome. dancing did not go well for her. She was kicked <laughs> off of dancing with the pigs. Um. In terms of uh, Int D-Boy... Uh, I think his question was asking why aren't I like out right now on Friday night? Uh, I, I take the SATs tomorrow morning, so I can't be out late. Otherwise, you will be wilding, yeah, painting yep. and campaigning. Austin, <laughs> all kinds, all kinds. So Nate, yes. it's gonna be Knicks versus Pacers, right? Should be if we can hold out this uh, lead we got. You uh, can. Um, Hawks are coming out good in the fourth quarter, though. We're, we're up nine. I'm confident. Okay. Seven minutes left. Looks like you guys are on the way out, though. I was really hoping to see that Nick Celtic game go game seven. Sidebar. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Why isn't that guy out tonight that just asked you, why aren't you out tonight? <laughs> Maybe he's out and he's doing this on the phone, which probably yeah. is not a good look at all. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Funny about that, I've gone into a Google chat with Nate while I'm on a school trip in Washington, D.C. That was epic, though, because you, you travel all over the world, Ross. Get out there and do the damn thing. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, J. Dow 1990 says, Mitchell and Ness is better than those $300 brand shirts. <clears throat> like, like that. Like if we're talking quality, the quality of that pirate stuff looks like garbage. Is it? I've never seen one in person. They, they use like champion t-shirts and just print it on that. From what I understand. Which I don't understand. <laughs> uh, let's see. <clears throat> let's see. Jordan Brand makes uh, Chris 53156. Jordan Brand makes a shoe good quality when it's not an instant cop for everyone. Example, Crimson 3, Squadron Blue 13. Did those have good quality? I haven't seen them in person. I mean, I got no complaints with my Crimson 3s. So, that just sounded very like... like what, what? I could just picture like your dad like yelling at you and you're just like, oh, I'm okay. <laughs> so, I, I just kind of like... I, I was like bashful? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, who's going to be the biggest free agent next year? Jimmy Snooker. Dwight Howard? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know who else is really... Uh, Rowdy Ducky 69 says, I wore my replica perfect concords at my school and nobody called me out. Mm. <laughs> oh, we got a new guest here. We got a new guest. Ew. Philly has yeah, man. the man with soul. The man with soul. Yeah. It's not your typical entrance, by the way, Philly. I thought I would just change it up a little bit. You know, the, the whole slut thing gets kind of old every once in a while. I think I think I might switch to skank. How do you like skank? <laughs> What's that? Why is everybody getting muted? Philly has soul in his heart and his feet. I like that. I like that. That is catchy. <laughs> <laughs> What's been going on, guys? No, man. I got someone said N1K Santa Two says you went. You have a nice beard. No homo. Oh, oh man, no, I shaved. I, I had a nice beard. Don't. I was gonna have a beard off with T Blake and Philly, but they all they, they eh, do it. You gave up because you knew you'd lose. <laughs> I let's do it. 
Let's, uh oh. Okay. Here you go. I thought I was gonna be part of the Celtics run, so now that you shave, they're getting their ass kicked. Yeah, maybe oh, that's why. Okay. I think that could be the reason. <laughs> God damn it! Damn, they're getting killed now. I, they were starting to come back when I was watching it. Cameron Fernandez asks, Yo, Andy, can you show yourself dancing or stirring mac and cheese? <laughs> is, that, is that double AR positive? <laughs> it might be. <laughs> you know he's in here with a different name. Oh, definitely. This is a bad night to take questions if that guy was still around. Okay. He's asking some weird I stuff. I got another question, uh, Mr. Crispy Coyle. And his questions are all really good. That's why I keep going to him because he's actually coming up with really quality questions. So I'm not trying to favor anyone. Just like yeah. So if you want to shout out, put a good question. Yeah. Give it. Like think about the question because this one here, this oh. is, this is a good question. He he asked, "Do you ever buy shoes because they're limited?" Be honest. They limited though. <laughs> That's the only reason I buy do. shoes. There are people who do. You know what I mean? It, it's known. There there are people in this world who like that tag. Limited, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's okay to be into things that are limited, that are exclusive. You know, that's not a bad thing. Some people think that just because you like limited stuff, that you're a hype beast, or you're, you know, you're insecure, and you only need stuff that people don't have. Um, I, I, there are certain things that I do like that are limited, like, and it's not even only related to shoes. There are a ton of things that are only, you know, whether it's a watch or. Uh, you know, a certain brand of pop tarts. It's only limited for a amount of time. <laughs> fruity <laughs> Pebbles, man. Got that Fruity Pebble limited, eight ounce. Exactly. Mm. You know, baseball cards, and and I, I've always been a collector of, of anything my whole life. And there is something about some, you know, an item being limited that does have an, an appeal. So yeah, I, I, there are certain sneakers that I do like because they're limited. But that, but I mean, that doesn't mean I won't. I'm not going to go after a kick that's completely ugly, and and I only want it because it's limited. I have to really like the sneaker too. So I don't know. You guys hop in and let me know what you guys think. You know, like an example, I guess, is those um, the Adidas, the Big Sean shoes. I forget what they're called. To me, they just look like a a combination of like a shell toe and like some Nike Blazers, and those are like really limited. And a guy I know has them, and like I don't know, they go for. Five six hundred dollars, but I, I just find them ugly. So, I mean, I wouldn't have copped them. Not that I had the chance, um, but I mean, I don't know. I, I don't have any shoes that the only reason I copped is because they're limited. Yeah, welcome, J Paint. J Paint, what's going on with your Bulls, man? What do we got? Game seven. Dang, man, don't. I mean, that that series is stressing me out, man. Yeah. That last it's, game, it's, it's just stressing me out. Half the team yeah. isn't even playing. Yeah, and that's uh, is that tomorrow night, game seven? Yeah. In New York, in in Brooklyn. So. I know, man. Wow. Hey, Derek Rose looks like he's he's looking good good on the uh, <laughs> the bench yeah, jumping cool. up and down. Yeah, we'll looking? see, man. <laughs> Oh, Luau, yeah. I'm hoping Luau Dang's back. I'm hoping Heinrich plays. Like, yeah. they need to be at full strength tomorrow. Yeah. Allegedly, the Westboro Baptist Church was protesting uh, outside the United Center last game. What the hell? Why? Yeah, because the whole Jason Collins thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> of course, yeah. Great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you see Fran Elation's comment? No lie. My car is limited. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, I like this one comment. Uh, I just lost it. I need to find it so I can say the name. Uh, yeah. Oh, Running Wolf. Uh, Roshi runs are the Toms by Nike. Like fair that. enough. Fair enough. To uh, to answer the question um, regarding Crispy's question regarding limited kicks, honestly, I really don't own hardly any kicks that are limited. Maybe like one or two, and I did not get them for that reason at all. Um, you know, most of my kicks are GRs. And I think this weekend will be an interesting observation, you know, because those pure platinums, if those were limited, people would freak out over. But because they're a general release, I think they're going to sit for a little bit. That, they're very similar in a way to the way the Miami Knights look, if you think about it. It's got a crazy print, similar colors, 
One's just a base color silver and one's base color white. But if the pure platinums were, you know, online only, that shoe would sell for, you know, X amount of dollars. So I think that's pretty interesting how when you throw that limited tag, how it just changes the whole ball game. Yeah, I agree with what you said. Because that definitely, those definitely have a, 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 a interesting look to them, the sneaker. And it, my first thought was the Miami 8 Lows because it's kind of got like that splatter print on it. Uh, real quick, Optimus P517, welcome to the chat. He's fresh out of work. I think fresh out of work. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I think one thing to consider too, not so much as the limited, but like when you think back at the shoes that you could have got, like when I think back of the shoes that I missed out on last year, I think the re-entries, if that's what they're going to call or that's what they really are called. Hey, what's I up with like, that name, by the way? I mean, from what the description is, I guess that really is what it kind of looks like, but I don't know. It's a weird name. <laughs> like re -entry. Yeah, but... No, did you cop the re-entries? <laughs> But I just think that that colorway will be one, like, when people sleep on the 10s, like, years from now, that'll be, like, one colorway where people will be like, damn, like, I want to get that. And, like, I feel like that'll be one of the shoes of the 10s that everybody's want to get years from now. Not the seaweeds? No. <laughs> those, seaweeds. And those, and I feel like everybody years from now are going to be hyped on the volts. I think the jades, too. Really, any of them. I like. I like most of them. So, yeah. But I just feel like the volts and the re-entries, especially. Yeah. Um, any of you guys see uh, Iron Man three yet? No, I'm gonna see it tomorrow. Uh, Philly, didn't you go to see it and it was sold out? Yeah, I went to go see it and there was no tickets left. I was like, son of a bitch. So we hit Waffle House. You gotta buy your movie tickets online. That movie ticket. Master or something. Uh, I would have. I was train. at work all day. I couldn't get tickets because I was at work from like open until five. So I didn't get that reminds chance. me. I think. Uh, I think Avengers. It was where there were people reselling tickets for like a hundred dollars uh, when it came out. Wow, are you kidding? Did not realize that you can see it the next day. Yeah, for for the midnight show when it came out. Jesus. Yeah. Reselling to a new level. <laughs> Seats are limited though. <laughs> yeah, but it's on the night of the release. It's not like it's a freaking concert. Mm. Well, you want to see it when it first comes out. You could say first. Yeah, I actually <laughs> already had to, I had to get my tickets today for the Sunday. And wow. And they ate the one in Castleton. I don't know. Like, that's one, like, the crappy thing about Chicago is it's so expensive, but, like, they had probably 40 showings of the movie, so it, it, I didn't have trouble getting tickets. Uh, what did you think uh, of it? Nate. Without it was spoilers, pretty, it, was, wasn't. it was solid. It was better than number two. Good, because yeah. I didn't really like number two. One I thought was great. Yeah, I, I thought it was comparable to one. Like the, the effects were really good. It was more of a Tony Stark's uh, story as opposed to Iron Man, really. Was it like kind of darker, like a little grittier? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. Uh, real it was quick, good. Uh, Cameron Fernandez. I don't know if this is double A RP, RP guy, but he says, "Philly, show yourself vigorously eating watermelon or lettuce." <laughs> what? <laughs> so what the fuck does that mean? This is, this is just getting weird. First of all, I don't even have access to either one of those right now, and even if I did, I think I would have to turn down that offer. <laughs> you turn down watermelon? Are you kidding me? Well, what, eat, well, I wouldn't eat it for somebody else to watch me eat it. <laughs> we eat it vigorously. Yeah, vigorously, yeah, man. Vigorously. <laughs> God. Oh, shit, that is pretty funny. Man. That is really funny. Uh, let's see. Metakick says, do you guys like collaborations? Collaboration. <laughs> I think they're great. Yeah, man. Yeah, I feel like whenever there's a... Especially New Balance ones. Yeah, there's, it seems like a lot of uh, thought and effort goes into them because you've got two sides, you know, trying to really produce something cool. So usually collabs are, are really cool. New Balance and Saucony, they do the best collaborations, man. How many people in here are trying to get the uh, grapes? Uh, I know me, Optimus, You, you are you going after them? 
You guys are going to hate me. I got five pairs locked down. <laughs> <laughs> five? What the hell? Son of a bitch. Uh, you go, you're getting five pairs? I, you know what? I, honestly, whoever's watching this, I really think everybody should be able to get a pair without a problem. That's my thought on it. If I'm able to get five pairs down for no reason. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, there's going to be a lot. They're yeah. not going to sit, but th that's the thing, though. They're going to sell out, and it's the people that just didn't try hard enough that are going to are gonna miss out. If you're going to camp, get there now. You know, Don't show up an hour before open. You're not going to get them. If you're trying no. online, be ready for that tweet uh, the second it comes out. Uh, you know, online, I think what's what's going to happen is a lot of people are going to try online and they're going to sell out online. Unless you're super fast uh, on, the, on the Twitter link or Foot Locker, you will miss out online. Um, so either you're camping, you have a connect, or you're going to get them online, but they're going to sell out. So, yeah, Jay Payne, I'm going after them. Uh, Nate, Jake, uh, who else? I am not going after them. Jason, you're passing? Yeah. Insta pass. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, uh, I was kind of on the fence, but I figured I'd try the RSVP, like just for the hell of it. Yeah. If I got them, I, I take them. But uh, I, I literally responded in probably five or six seconds and didn't get them. Dude, I, I get so angry about RSVP. It's the yeah. biggest letdown because you're like, I think I got through this time. Nope. <laughs> and it's the like, thing was, the, uh, the eleven. I feel like. Uh, now I'm wondering how many of those uh, bread 11s they really made. Like how much more than every other one of these Jordans that's come out. Because that was easy to get on the Twitter RSVP. Yeah, I've only won Twitter RSVP twice. Bread 4s and bread 11s. I got it yeah. both times. I've tried it a, a, a million other times. On almost every single re I tried it on every single release. Even if I don't want it, just to see if I can even get through, I can yeah. never get through. So They were restocking again, right? What, the Bread 11s? Yeah, on the 25th. Yeah. So are the uh, 88 threes. Yeah, those and the fives. The bread again? The Bread 4s. The bread 11s are going to restock till 2016. <laughs> <laughs> when they re-retro again. <laughs> Holy the, the re retro Whoa. will still be the same... Uh, <laughs> the same pairs from the... Yeah. I want to come out with some more uh, 11 colors ways that aren't garbage like all, all these lows that they're coming out with just look like ass you don't like the Joe Johnson's the no. Joe Jefferson's the Joe Johansson's you know, I, don't, I don't like the I don't like the white patent leather I don't either man oh, with the Fair enough. I think they should make an 11 that doesn't have patent leather I know that's one of the focal points of the shoe, the shoe. But like wouldn't that be kind of cool I mean, they, they have the snake skins. Mm. Yeah, the eleven low IEs. J J Paint's favorite. No, 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 I mean like, not not to call the IEs not eleven, but like, like with that same shape. They have the snake skins though. Yeah, no, but I'm talking about like snake skins are like not a regular colorway. That's not like flat leather. Yeah. Man, this pacer game is coming down, coming down to the wire. What's the score right now? Up five minute left. Wow. Wow. Uh, all right. Questions. So oh, the team the reason twenty fifth. Uh I think Foot Locker, right? I think it was East Bay. I think it's everybody, isn't it? Foot Action, Foot Locker. I don't. I the. I know there was only a couple, but I'm sure it's going to be probably more than that. For what? The, the tweet I got from the tweet I got from uh, J23 app said uh, Foot Locker, East Bay. The only those two. For what? The restock. Oh. Running Wolf 1980 says, I felt like the grapes in Pure Platinum should have come as a pack called The Old and the Ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. R. Dominguez 23, what specific pair of kicks do you not like that most people do like? I mean, 
with that, I feel like it's you kind of just have to think of a really popular sneaker that it seems like everyone likes, um, and you just don't. But yeah, what, every what cross trainer that's ever releases? dropped. What have been some of the biggest releases in the past year or two? So, well, I mean, you could say the Yeezys. You know, I feel like a lot of people yeah. do like those. Yeah, the other than the Yeezys. Okay, bro. Well, okay, the Brett Elevens. I mean, I think everyone here likes the Bread Elevens, but I'm sure there are people who can say, yeah, I don't really like them. I mean, what else? Like Bread, like a big release from last year, like Bread, bread Fours? Thunder Fours. Thunder they, Fours were... were uh, I don't like most of the Ronnie Feig collabs. There's a good one as well, yeah. Like, he basically just takes the most basic shoe and slaps his name on it. Yeah. Shade of blue. Although I do like the the New York Nick one. To be honest, I'm gonna sound like a complete hype beast. I don't really know much about it. I just like the colorway. <laughs> so, and well, like someone someone told color. me to look at them. I'm like, damn, those are pretty fresh. But like, I'm not gonna go camp seven days for a Ronnie Fag release. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like some of the shoes that he quote unquote designs. Look like like looks like shoes that my dad owns. My God, Celtics are coming back. No, they they're were only down, down by ten. They were down twenty. Like what the hell? Man, you never know what happens until like the fourth quarter Dude, with five minutes left. Henry, they're gonna they're gonna cut it right here. All Pierce is going off, man. Yeah, the truth. They're down nine points. They were down twenty something. They're down 20, 24. They were down 24. You know what's funny? What? The Knicks, the Knicks have to be one of the most overrated teams in the NBA. So, dude, the Celtics are on a 17-0 run right now. <laughs> in two, the last two and a half minutes, a 17-0 run. That is just ridiculous. stolen. Just stolen. Oh, sorry. I'm getting into it. Um, But, like, the Knicks, I just don't understand. Melo is, is overrated. But it's like, dude, yeah. you guys won the series, okay? You're up 3 nothing. You refuse to put – Two games away, you have this game one, and you just basically gave up a, a twenty-four point lead. The J.R. Smith technical or the uh, J.R. Smith very elbow like yeah. turned the whole series. It's like, dude, you just got yourself suspended. You know, clearly your team needs you. Like, yeah. I, they're just a bunch of sub like, players. I think it's like when the uh, player. It, it's like when uh, Steve Nash got chucked into the uh, scorers table by Robert Corey. When the Phoenix Suns should have won that series, and the Lakers came back and won it. Yeah, exactly. And I but think like, they won the title that year. This is outrageous that they won't just put us away. It's like frustrating to me that a team could just be so like, I don't know. It's just like, <laughs> is anyone else uh, amazed by this? That they, they were up two and a half minutes ago, <laughs> they had a twenty point lead. They just gave yeah, that ba ridiculous. back just about. It's like, I don't know, like. I, my only thing is this. I get fresher with Knicks fans because they're so hot and cold. They're like, oh, the Knicks are the two seed. They can compete with the Heat. They're the best ever. And now, like, you know, after losing two in a row, people are like, oh, they, they suck. I don't even like them. You know? <laughs> they just seem, like, wishy-washy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a goal time. Uh, Offensive goal time. Um, so, Nate, what happened in the Pacers game? Did they close it out or still going? Up six, 30 seconds. All right. Good, good. It's looking good, though. Yeah, I don't, the Pacers stars. are underrated. Yeah. The Pacers are underrated to me, man. Been saying that all year. Two two years yeah. I've been saying that. Um, like, like they they've always given the Heat trouble. No, Danny Granger. Oh well, hell, Danny Granger. Roy Hibbert, though. Nate, you want to oh, grab my. a uh, question? I'm sure it's a bunch. Yeah. Of them. Right. Like right. Uh, Rit or Riot Nine. Sorry if I'm butchering your your name there, but you added me and said lace sites. There used to be four I would recommend. Now there's three. Shoelaces Express. You can find darn near everything. The site is a little difficult, and the pictures are a little lacking. But you'll find anything and everything at shoelacesexpress.com. Sh uh, shout out to Sam Colt, Three TV ID. Um, the next site. Now these are going to be for like novelty laces, and I don't mean that in a bad way. Um, if you go to lacedupplaces.com, really nice aglets, really nice aglets, and the laces are like glow-in-the-dark, 3M. That's what I mean by specialty. 
It doesn't take away from fashion laces. Like I'm not saying they're garbage, just just different. Wait, what do you the mean? Last by... one will be Mr. Nah, FullyLace.com. FullyLace.com. You can get 11 laces, speckle laces, you name it. Those are my top three lace sites. What do you mean by really nice aglets? Like, what about them is really nice? Um, go to LacedUpLaces.com, and you'll see what I mean. They are basically bolted metal tips with their logo lasered in. Um, probably the nicest aglet I've ever seen on a lace. It's me personally. Looks like they put some care into making their laces. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, Jimmy Snooker was talking early too. He was saying, uh, "I would have to go with the sour, Jimmy." Jim, Jimmy, Jimmy posted a message to me uh, like five, ten minutes ago saying, "Hey, it was a good series uh, by yourself, uh, there, but it's not over yet." I thought you were going with the other question. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, what was it? Oh, nothing. Just a joke. Uh, um, let's see. Oh, someone asked. This is a funny question. Would you ever rock your fives like fresh prints, no laces? Are you going to be able to walk around oh, with them? <laughs> you know how many Instagram photos? We'll see you that tomorrow. I got, I got a bunch of friends from New York that they, they all wear their laces so much differently than I've ever seen. Really? I, I don't know if it's a New York thing or what, but yeah, I I've got two or two or three friends from New York that that tie their laces really weird. Yeah, I will say that's you know nowadays it seems like we all kind of own the same kicks, but the the thing that really sets sets the kicks apart is how you wear them. You know, like how you lace them. Cause I had someone in my comments recently saying like, "Oh, you need to lace your shoes this way." It's like. The whole point is to lace them however the hell you want. That's what kind of makes the shoe, you know, to match with your your style. But if you rock them fresh print style, you might break an ankle. Man, sooner or later you'll just see people wearing sandals and then freaking tying the laces around their neck, the shoes around their neck. <laughs> Yo, uh, quick question: Are these really the KD sixes? I hope not. They These have like, got to be the ugliest shoes I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, those are awful. I think I'd rather rock the the uh, I'd rather rock the Kobe the original Adidas Kobe bricks than these. Those look like some Goon Seven Beasts. Oh I kind of I, I kind of like those Kobe uh, bricks or whatever they're. Oh yeah, man! I'll take them any day to these. These Dude, look like soccer like beasts. Like, like, I kind of yeah. think they're fresh. These. No, no. Oh, Jimmy okay. Butler was wearing them last night. Oh though. yeah, I know. They look fine on feet. I mean, from a distance. But when you get them close, you're like, "What are you in moon shoes?" But <clears throat> these right, things are. Oh, these are terrible looking, man. I really hope it's not those. Seltzer down six. With, uh, That's all right, man. They can join my Sixers at home. But uh, yeah, they're, man, watching, they're watching a game at the, uh, oh, <laughs> at the bar right now. Philly, how do you feel about uh, Andrew Bynum salsa dancing? I love it. Mean, I love I, it. <laughs> I haven't seen it, but I really don't want to. <laughs> all, all I hope is that they don't re-sign him. If as long as they don't re-sign him, I'll be happy. I wonder if anybody's like. I wonder how much money people are gonna drop on him. Uh, somebody's gonna be stupid and give him tons of money. Because I mean, I'm outside of like, there's no. I mean, because a, a oh, big guy is hard to come by. What, was, what just happened here? Oh wow! Pierce just had an awful turnover. Paul Pierce Pacers is so win. Old. Pacers win. Uh, Pacers so won. bring it on. Good. Can't bring out the wheelchair. Fans. I feel like with this KD six, they're that's such a I don't know like the exaggerated swoosh. Isn't that the, the isn't that the KD tray? That's not even the KD six, isn't it? That's the KD tray. No, this is a, I, I looked up because some people were asking what I thought of the KD six, and I didn't even know that pictures surfaced. But then this is the <laughs> picture that's floating around on all the blog sites as we're oh, the oh, KD six. That man. Blog I'm, just, I'm just saying that I hope I feel, this isn't it, man. That's got to be the KD tray. It's got to so. be. Man. I hope it's not got the, new, to the new silhouette. Cause... And for people who haven't heard, the KD tray is supposed to be KD's new low casual wear shoe, kind of like the LeBron Chucka blazer style shoe that's getting ready to drop. I'm and They bet have, that, the, they have the a tray, Kobe dude. one that releases in Asia, too. It's called like the, the Black Mamba shoe or something like that. Similar. The Mamba Mamba Kamalong, or I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> that's all I'm talking something about. like that. But yeah, they look Her, some. They look like trash too. Mamba, but, uh, Mamba Curio, Mamba yeah, Curious, uh, Mamba Curious, Mamba Curious. Mamba Curious. 
<laughs> yeah, that's Bob, a, I'm curious. Yeah. <laughs> Henry. <laughs> <laughs> what? Henry bit his lip. <laughs> Was it when you yelled about the Andrew Bynum video? <laughs> Henry, Henry's I need injured. To see this. The server knows Henry, Henry's injured. He he has bitten his lip. <laughs> down for count. Hype beast down. Hype beast down. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Cha ching! <laughs> Someone pulled a lever. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Marvelous Westy, the KD6 looks like a curling shoe. <laughs> oh, it's gotta be KD. Is this yeah, it I, here? I'd be, shout out to IBS365. He says he thinks those are the KD tray as well, Nate. Yeah. I certainly hope so. I mean, they're not a bad looking shoe, just what Fran said. Not that colorway. Uh, yeah, what's up with those Kobe's? Uh, I don't even know how. I'm curious. Yeah. What what are, what's up with those? Asia only. We all lost B. <laughs> Jeez. So five off. Uh, I'm sorry. Four point game right now, guys. Insane. Insane. Uh, I don't know why the Knicks are making it so hard on themselves. I don't know, man. As long as the Knicks lose, yeah. that... they almost have scored as much points in the fourth quarter as they did in the entire first half. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's still four minutes left. Epic. Yep. Plenty of time. Is there... Plenty. Dude, what game okay. is that? Friggin... Game six. Oh, Watch Dogs. Oh. Huh. Let's see. Park in Philly. <laughs> Jay Roy asks, likes or Son of Mars? Ooh. Spizikes. Spizikes. Yeah, Spizikes. Spizikes all day. It's the yeah. strap that kills it on the Son of Mars. The low Sun of Mars, Jason and I were checking those out at Got Soul a couple weeks ago. The Sun of Mars lows, not too bad. Maybe a better colorway will, will get it better. Yeah, the, the color is key on that shoe. Mm -hmm. I like the design a lot, though. Spizikes are nice. I mean, if you take the strap off of the regular Sun of Mars, it's almost a Spizike. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, you think about it. It's close. I think it's a little more bulky. That's true. Hmm. <sighs> Boom. We just uh, hit Jared Jackson's question. Thoughts of the son of Marlowe's? Speaking of your auntie, man, huh? those way of weights. Yo, you like them? I need, I need them. Dude, I know. They're really nice. Really nice. So comfortable. Yeah. I think, I think yo auntie, when I asked him the same thing, Jay Paint, he's like, yeah, I got like 10 people who wants me to uh, try to find them up here. <laughs> yeah. I I, I'm, I'm reaching out to... Uh, the guy who got him from me, Jonah V, uh, Sneaker School. Actually, I haven't seen him in here tonight, but... Um, oh, Steel, Bradley, Dunk. All right. Um, yeah, so I'm reaching out to him to see if he can get any more pairs for people, so I'll keep you guys yeah. up for sure. Uh, <laughs> Read INTB, boys. How much were uh, I paid 160 shipped, and that was from, from China. Oh, that's good. So I think retail you know might be... Like, you know, 130, 120, because yeah. shipping from China, how much is on a pair of sneakers? How much is it? 20, 30 right. bucks. Right, 30. So you got to think they were like 120, 130. Um, oh, real quick 06, 05, 100, Laffy Taffy or now on laters? Laffy, Laffy Taffy. Taffy. That's, that's easy. Except the banana. Take away the banana. No, I hate the banana. That one banana, sucks. Banana candy is brutal. However, I like I like normal bananas. I eat one oh, I, I eat normal bananas daily. Worst candy ever? Popcorn flavored jelly bellies. Oh, oh I almost oh, puked, well, man. Worse. It tasted like pure oil and butter, like all up in my <laughs> mouth. I couldn't get it out. Man. That was the most I, foul and black licorice. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, oh, uh, you know what's uh, good though? Green apple jelly beans. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Any or that stuff we used to eat back in the day. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you remember that candy that you, that you would, uh, it was like pink, uh, green, and blue, and you'd pull it off the uh, paper? Yeah, oh, the dots? Yes. Oh, oh those, yeah. you oh, ate more paper yeah. than the actual sugar. Oh, yeah, how you <laughs> get the paper in your mouth? <laughs> like, cool. Yeah, I need no, some no, more. I, I wouldn't even take it out. You just kind of suck it up and eat the paper. Yep, that's what you call a self-wiper. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all remember uh, yeah. sour dip? It was the little powder, and you had a little white stick, and you yeah. 
yeah. yeah, fun dip. Baseball card days right there, fun. man. No, do you remember? Fun do dip and guys, a couple upper deck and top packs, and I was good. I don't know. I don't know if any of you guys remember this, but this was like huge in my junior high. It was called okay. the Ravens Revenge, and it was like tubes of uh, kind of uh, sour sugar. Yeah. And like you would just drink the tubes. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? It's called Pixie like, Sticks or something. It's like it's no. basically. Yeah, it's Pixie Sticks for us, Nate. It's but, but, it's like, like, but it's like on steroids. It's like this big tube. Yeah. Like people would walk around school with it and be like, ah. But <laughs> it, the weird. thing is, kids from, my, kids from my school would make, like, their own versions of it with, like, Kool-Aid packets and sugar. Yeah. Like, Packet full of PCP. <laughs> and, and, like, resell them. Like, they would, they would sell them, like, to other kids. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Oh, I hustled, I hustled tear jerkers. Dude, that was my candle hustle. Pixie sticks. When you put your with the second your tongue hits the paper, you're done because that just gets clogged. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I mean, candy talk. I can go on forever. Yeah, get a little. I'll car last week in candy this weekend. <laughs> oh man. Oh, Hooper guy says the Harry Potter jelly beans are terrible. What do they even taste like? Does it taste like a nerd? No. They were like, <laughs> yeah, one one tastes like grass, another one tastes like <laughs> One of them was vomit. My what brother, the hell? My yeah. Got those, yeah. They had a vomit flavor jelly bean. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh. freaking Jones Soda made some pretty nasty crap a while ago. I think it was a. Um, they got like football flavored type of stuff. They got sweat, they got grass and dirt and. Ugh. Why would you want that? I don't know. It's like, how do you know what even sweat tastes like? This is how you find out how tough you are. You know, you can drink some good grass and sweat mixture, then you're a tough guy. Seriously. <laughs> this just in: Double A R positive just sent Jelly Button an e uh, Jelly Bean Factory an email asking for the new Jelly Button that tastes like dick. <laughs> 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 Oh, man. Oh. We'll be back for news updates. Yes, yes. <laughs> J. Roy, Tootsie Pops or Blow Pops? Blow Pops. <laughs> Blow Pops all day. Well, we know what you're thinking about now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, candy cigarettes. Oh, man. Oh, the candy cigarettes. Do they still make those? I feel like that's such a bad influence on kids. I doubt they make them. Yeah. So oh, that also too. reminds me. You guys ever have the? Uh, it was like gum in the shape of uh, the cigars. It was oh, like yeah. blue and pink. Yep. Oh my god, that blue gum was so good. So good. Zebra stripe gum was good. Yeah, that was good. Yes. Oh, they were all right. Big leaf chew. That's what I was about. Oh to say. yeah. Oh, I because it was in the shreds. I just put the entire thing in my mouth. <laughs> You have to. You have to, though. Yeah, Ross, that sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Well, we, we know what the intro to Henry's next video is going to be. Yeah. <laughs> please take that cut. Are you yeah. like a pie, please? Please make an intro for, uh, for him. Yeah. They have they have bacon flavored soda apparently. I don't even know what that is. God, only in America. I know they have cucumber flavored uh soda. Cucumber flavored. Might as well just drink cucumber juice with soda. Here's the three. No, it's not looking good, guys. I remember the seeing brick. a minor league baseball uh stadium serves their hamburgers or a version of hamburger with donuts as the buns. Oh, that sounds with that. fantastic. You're Way like, you're like a that. second and a half quicker than me, uh, you know, Auntie. So, like, every time uh, Pierce I, shoots, like, I already, like... You already know? Yeah. yeah. So it, the game's over. They're in the locker room. I'm still watching. Wait, that was a two. Was I thought that was a three that <laughs> That looked like a two. <laughs> Motown Kid 24, you, Annie. Okay. Motown... <laughs> Motown <laughs> says, legit question, 
Have you guys ever been mistaken for someone else? Yo, Auntie as Rob Kardashian. Tayshawn Prince. Omri Caspi. J Star as Tayshawn Prince. Nate as Young Tom Green. That's a good one. DJ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Green. Damn, that's Son of a true. bitch. Uh, J Star as Tayshawn Prince. That's fucking funny. <laughs> no, 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 no. J, J Star is Zach. That that guy that was Siler off Heroes. No, and yeah. the, the funny no. thing is, in one of his videos, like the screenshot, he looks like Tiger Woods. I think J Star yeah. looks like Bibby. Zachary Quinto, that's his name. Oh, Yo, I loved Heroes. They're doing a reboot. Did you hear about that? Whoa, really? Oh, really? Yes, yeah, sir. Another network picked it up. I don't know. I doubt they're going to get the same cast back, but yeah, just do a search on uh, Heroes reboot and you'll see it. It's coming God. in 2014. That show is so good. I'm just hoping for Hayden Panettiere. Mm. Yeah. Ooh, the cheerleader. Man, the cheerleader. Cl Klitschko, Klitschko is... Never mind. I can't go there. Right, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. She was probably, what, like 15 when she was in that role? Yeah, okay. roughly. Wow, now I want candy so bad. And I mean candy. Freaking <laughs> <laughs> uh, Haribo Sour Spaghetti. Here we go with another fucking giveaway. Huh? Who? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, Celtics are going to lose. Hey, Car Carlos Spicy Wiener liked my photo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like one of my favorite people who likes all mine is uh, Big Black Mamba. <laughs> like that one. <laughs> Chocolate soda is not good. Oh. That just doesn't sound right already. Nah, uh, if you want chocolate, you grab a you. Hold on. Uh, Sneak Dreams uh, responding to if they still make candy cigarettes. He said, they do, and some kid was annoying me with candy cigarettes, so I broke it in half and threw it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> oh. Oh. Let's see. Man, friggin' all these hobbies are so damn expensive. Well, looks like it's going to be Nick's Pacers. Yep. Darn it. Looks like Celtics are going to make this comeback. I know. What well, power from heroes would I want? I'd want to be Siler. Yeah, Siler yeah, or... Um, that was... The, uh, whatever... For guy, the the time traveler. I forget the character's name. Japanese guy. Yeah. Hero. Hero. Nakamura. Yeah, hero. And you get yep. to carry that sword around. Oh uh, yeah. And, and his storyline wasn't even done yet. He he had. Yeah. Hero. Like he had a lot more left for him. I like. Then, um, I mean, si Siler is just like an easy one to go with because he has whatever he wants. Yeah. yeah. Plus, Nate it can care. mend a nice watch for you, so... Yeah. That's a bonus. Nate would carry the cock mess messer around. <laughs> what else we got for questions? Slight, slight lull in the conversation there. Yeah. What, my, uh, my phone's dying where I pull the questions from. Um, so you, real quick, we got a hundred live viewers right now. Yeah. Let's see. Thoughts on the Rockets? Oh, game six tonight. They're playing at um, Houston, right tonight? Yeah. Oh, cool! Yeah. I get to watch that game too. I yeah. hope they'll push game seven. Me too. I think they will, because think about when they made that 20-point comeback in game three. They were down like 24, 26 in game three. They they nearly won that game, and, and the series could be three to two Rockets. So uh, people would think uh, Westbrook going down isn't that big of a deal. It's not. It's a big deal. Man, I'm just thinking if the Bulls still had a Sheik, man. Yeah. He's a monster on the boards. Man, James Harden was having... Uh, shooting practice in Game Five. Just he was just playing with people and then pulling up threes. So. Dude, he, seven for nine from threes is 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 unbelievable. Um, 
Chris53156, what foams are dropping this summer? Those Georgetown Ugh. foams, right? Which ones are like, those? Uh, the, like the gray and the dynamic blue. Yeah. What else? Um, are those camo ones? The Army green, green camo, camo pro, uh, pros. The pros, yeah, the pros are coming out. Those are ugly in my opinion. Gum bottom. Cop video return. <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> bro. Someone asked, are you a hype beast if you buy what Kanye wears? Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's Without all questions. Buy. Without question. Yeah, I mean, if you can afford what Kanye buys, I guess we shouldn't frown on you for having it like that. But the funniest thing was when uh, Nate posted that picture of the kid wearing uh, what was termed <laughs> poopy pants. Yes, the poopy pants. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, is that 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 European kid? Yeah, poopy. There's a lot of European. <laughs> kids. It's like. Those pants where the kids ha their legs are way too thin, so the top looks like they poop their pants. <laughs> <laughs> like, do, you have a, do you have a picture, Nate? Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, sure. Just Google easy, easy poopy pants. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I'll type, I'll type that in. Easy poopy pants. <laughs> and Google image is returns. <laughs> this could get interesting. <laughs> so far, nothing. Shit senders. Nothing good here. <laughs> oh, here's a good one. <laughs> she had the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, let's just click off of that. No, it didn't come up. What's that guy's name? Sam Easton, or the the guy that someone was referencing from the UK? Samuel oh, Easton, Brandon, or something like that. Brandon Sales. Brandon Sales. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. He's doing his thing, though, man. But uh, King Pooby Pants himself. <laughs> Come on, where is it at? I want to see the... Oh, uh, not finding it. There was some picture that was really bad. You want to you wanna have a bad picture segment? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I do. Put him in the side. No, I'm coming up with pure fail. Oh, no. Who is this kid? Brandon Sales. Yeah, who, what's he do? Um... I, I really don't know. I, I just saw some pictures, but the pictures I see him with, it looks like he's doing something with in the fashion line. He's like it, a style. He's a stylist. He's a yeah. stylish designer. Looks like he's twelve. He's very rep, as his Instagram says. How old is yeah. this kid? He's doing his thing. He's probably enough to shit himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> What's the rarest shoe that we saw someone rocking, or you guys have seen someone rocking in person? Asks zero six zero five one hundred. Uh, rarest shoe. No, okay, this is crazy. There's this, there's this janitor at my school. I swear, like I'm gonna take some video of him sometime. He's worn OG twos, OG sixes, like, and they're they're not in great shape, but still, the fact that they're like original Jordan 2s like that he's cleaning the bathroom with. It's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> we need to invite him over as a special guest one weekend. <laughs> he's got a couple. He's got the uh, he's got some 7s, some 6s, some 2s, like all original Jordans. Damn. He's OG. Yeah. Well, Billy's up. Billy R is here to Rub it in your face. Yeah. Face. <laughs> he had to wait till right when the game was over. Yeah, literally. On another note, I almost had three heart attacks just now. Yeah. What was that, Billy? I was like, "What are they doing? Why don't they just, you know, win it? They let us know. back in." I don't even know. 
Uh, hey, well, good luck with uh, who do you got? You playing the Pacers? Pacers. 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 Now, now you can now you can t tweet with uh, Nate all week. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. I feel like the Celtics just like they're a team that just never gives up. Never. Like, always in the playoffs. Annoying yeah. fucks. They're yeah exactly <laughs> like they're just like, like a bunch of nets that you just can't kill. Yeah. Like they'll they'll never quit. No. I'm sorry, but how bad is Kendrick Perkins? Yeah, we were he's talking pretty about bad. That earlier. I'm saying like he, I would argue that he's the worst starting center in the NBA. I don't Honestly, think I like I was like, oh, why did they trade Perkins from the Celtics? But then like after watching Green and stuff, it's like, yeah, that was a good trade. Yeah. yeah. But, like, what does he do? He doesn't score. He, he sets scores. hard screens on uh, the he guy who hurt he, he makes that ugly ass scowling face and yeah. Yeah. yeah, man, that's all he does. He they just stands. Out, uh, he just he takes up space. Out. He took out Beverly with a pick the first play of the game. Yeah, he just takes. Yeah. Out he's worth, he, he's yeah. worth millions. <laughs> he's a goon. That's what he is. Yeah. You put him out there to to go goony on people. Yeah. <laughs> so did you guys see that they're going to be releasing the black bottom photo blue nines? Yeah, I think that's just because I had leftovers in their factory and they're like, hey, let's make these limited. Yeah. Like, they li fuck they limited, up. though. They limited, though. <laughs> they limited, though. though. I need them. I need them. Gotta get rid of them. Gotta get them. Quarter link only. Gotta get them. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, let me see that, that, that comment. Yeah, leave those comments up. Let me see. Um, oh, damn, it's huh. hard, I like the good stuff. Two, three, ones comment. A little comical. Would Let's you like it. me to read it? Yes. Yep. Okay. So you get three pairs: a foam posit. You can pick the colorway. A Tiffany Dunk Low, and either colorway of the Easy Two. You have to lick the sole of one and post pics <laughs> and vids of it. Sleep no. with one and post pics, etc. And wear one with six matching Rasta clots on each arm. <laughs> You decide. <laughs> well, All right, so which one you're gonna sleep with? Which one you licking? And which one you are going to rock with the, with the uh, arm? Well, what did that guy say? The wrist. He's going for the wrist look. Which one are you gonna go for the wrist look on? <laughs> guys, yeah. Shout out to the wrist look. <laughs> All right. Um, anyone want to go first? No. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Let's let's recap here. So we got a foam pause. Any foam pause? A Tiffany Dunk Low. Yeah. And either Yeezy 2 colorway. Yeah. You get a rock one with the wrist game on point. You get a sleep with one, or you got to lick one. Lick one. <laughs> Which one you licking? I'll lick the Yeezy because that's total, that's total hype, ba hype beast faggotry right there. <laughs> um, the one I'll sleep one will probably be Tiffany because it has a female name and it might give me a very, very fun night. <laughs> um, the third one, I'm going to go with the foam posit because I'll get the foam posit in the galaxy and I'll be wearing all limited galaxy Rasta clots because you know about me, though. <laughs> I'll be, I'll, my wrist, wrist look come up with a name like Rasta clot? I don't Good know. Question. I heard they stole it from Rasta knot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whenever I hear Rasta clot, I, I automatically think of blood clot. I don't know why. Yeah. It just sounds like it. Yeah. Uh, anyone else? What are you guys going to do? Ah, found the poopy pants, by the way, while you guys sidebar. <laughs> Go ahead and oh, shout my. out to the sneaker stop. He oh, found my. the poopy pick. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, now you see why I say poopy look, right? It looks like a large diaper that's been pooed in. <laughs> <laughs> Who wears that shit? Oh, How my God. Is that Justin Bieber? <clears throat> no, this is um, yes, it is actually. It's Justin oh, Biebs. Right. It's the Biebs. The Biebs. And the poop. Literally. Literally. Like, what is that back piece? <laughs> like that must be so uncomfortable. <laughs> who, do you thought thought who thought that? Who thought that was a good design idea? Shout know. out to the sneaker stop for uh, being on point with that tweet yeah, there. Uh, yeah, that was good. I think it came from Asia. <laughs> hey, that's a quality piece. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Yes, sir. All right, let's see. So what? No one else is gonna go. I gotta be the only asshole that does that one. <laughs> yeah, you lost, man. <laughs> you lost me. 
Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. It was a setup. It was a setup. Oh, right. that I, can, I can make fun of myself all day. Can't make fun of yourself. You're not living life the right way. <laughs> That's just me. That's my Amen. motto. Amen to that. Shout out to leg day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Oh. oh, yeah, let me throw on that, that OKC game. Man, you guys are assholes. You seriously aren't going to answer it. <laughs> man. Like, you know, when they say there's not such thing as a bad question, sometimes I wonder. Oh, come on. That guy, he, he typed it out with proper English and pronunciation and all. He baited you into looking like a retard. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Big ups to Corky. It's fine. That's, uh, oh, it's Lavish Bitch posted a new photo yesterday. Damn. Oh, with the Tiffany's. Wait, wait, what was he doing with Tiffany's? Oh, oh I was saying, oh, was that my mic muted? Oh, uh, it might have been. All right, so I was saying going. for the phone posit, I said I would go with the coppers because I already have the galaxies and I really want the coppers. Um, I would lick the bottom of the Yeezy too just because it's a newer shoe. Uh, Tiffany Dunks, I believe, were 06, so that's a long time to be sitting that's in the good, box. That's a good point right there. Same with the same with the Copper Foams, 20, uh, 2010, so go figure there. Um, let's see. I rock the Tiffany's with the six matching Rasta clots on each arm, and I just swag it out with some Diamond Supply Company and a matching fitted. Get them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the uh, Tiffany is going back to an earlier question about shoes that everyone likes that, that you don't like. The Tiffany's would be my number one shoe. To me, that is one of the ugliest shoes of all time, and I do not understand why people like it. It's good. Diamond Supply Company will go on the tongue, man. <laughs> and, and they limited, though. They limited, though. <laughs> no, nah, I, like I like the Tiffany's. I always have. They're okay. That They're not worth a stack, though. That green is not. I don't like that green. It's like a mint. Yeah. Oh. It's oh, actually go, it's actually Tiffany blue. I want to go back <laughs> to the question. Uh, the the rare shoes you've seen in person or on feet. I'm curious about everyone else. I saw a guy rocking the Miami Night Low Eights. Uh, I was at Soulcon and saw Clark Kent rocking the War Vet Nine Lows. That's pretty sweet. Orange oh. laces. Um, what else have I seen? I, I haven't really seen too, I, I never see really rare kicks around. No. I mean, yeah. I saw... Uh, I saw the bins rocked when I was at SoulCon as well. Yeah. Oh my well, god. You know, fives. When you go to a convention, you're, you're obviously... Yeah, you're, 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 you're bound to see stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's where I saw those Miami Night 8s at. Outside yeah. a sneaker event, man, I, I could say I've never seen really anything rare. I, like I, I saw a guy wearing actually... the, the original uh, Iverson McDonald game All-Star shoes. Whoa. I think that's what it was from. The yellow with the blue toe cap. Yeah, the like first time I saw the South Beach Homes when they dropped, some dude was rocking it to my barbershop. And it was raining. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. No, it's, I've never seen, in person, I've never seen the South Beach 8s. I've never seen the Miami Knights, Yeezys. Uh, uh, Galaxy Foams. Never, I've never seen any of those in person. Really? No. I feel like some of the rarest stuff I've seen in person has been people that, like you can tell, aren't really sneaker collectors, but have really old shoes that they've just worn forever, and like nobody has now. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. yeah. My God, Houston's up fifteen to four right now. Uh, sorry, Durant just knocked out a three, fifteen and seven. Grizzlies Clippers close, twenty one nineteen. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta watch that one. There was only one kid at my school, like oh. the college I go to. There was only one kid who would wear nice shoes, like recognizable shoes. That we would always pass each other going to the same class, and we'd always like look to see what we had on because we were the only two people at the whole damn school that would have like that's wicked funny nice shoes on. Like I would yeah. pass him one day, and he had like solar reds on. And I had like Olympic sevens. Invite Kilo up in this. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's funny whenever like I'm at the mall and you walk by someone and you just you see them look right at your. Well, feet. you know, you know, like uh, there's like an instinct that I have, like when you know that the other person knows that they know like what you're wearing, basically. Like there's yeah. a look that people give you when they're looking at your feet, like what the hell are those? Those are weird. 
And then there's a look where people give you, like, they know what they are, but they don't really want to say anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, we would just do that, like, every day. We're like, wow, that's nice. We wouldn't say shit, just pass each other. <laughs> Unless you go into a sneaker store, and then, like, people will say stuff. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. I feel yeah. like it would be weird just, like, starting a conversation with somebody like that, but it was pretty cool. It is kind of cruddy when you go out and see somebody else with the same shoes on as you. Oh, I hate I it. Like that ruins my day, man. <laughs> I, I want to go home and just go to bed. <laughs> I've, I've had enough of the day, man. That's why I won't wear Barely my bread the the Thanks for stopping by, man. That's why I got to bring another pair in the trunk. <laughs> the yeah, that's why you got the backup pair. Yeah, I don't the like backup that. backup pair. Oh, I got I got a good question. What do you guys do if you're caught in the rain with a new pair of shoes? Hey, when I went to Ooh. school, I, w I wouldn't drive. Tie like bags over my feet. Honestly, <laughs> this this is a good story. Freaking rock the uh, uh the red Spizex. It wasn't yeah. raining that morning. It started freaking pouring, so I went straight to finish line and picked up some spray and started spraying. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I was like, that's the first thing you need to do when you get them, man. I make that a habit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got too lazy. <laughs> freaking, I, I just fill my freaking whole condo hall with that fumey stuff at night. <laughs> <laughs> like, like if I've worn them five, six times, I'll just, I'll just rock them in the rain. But if it's yeah. the first time, it's so hard. Like, there was one time, the first time I wore the penny five red eagles was to a Bulls game. I came back, and it was pouring. Pouring rain, so I literally went to uh, uh, Dominic's grocery store and got two plastic bags and tied them around. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I've been there, man. Definitely plastic bags. I usually check the weather <laughs> tenfold. You know, you go on the the weather dot com, you check the hourly forecast. It's like no rain in sight. You're good. Yeah, I, I oh, that's cool, that. Kilo. We'll chat sometime soon, brother. If there's a, if there's even like a thirty percent chance of rain, there's no shot that anything suede will be worn. Yeah, here uh, <laughs> they bounce. Uh, Kilo just said he can't join. He's headed out, but he wanted to stop uh, in. So uh, hey, Kilo, do. good luck with the uh, grapes tomorrow. I know you're going after him. I, oh, I better see a pick here right now with uh, you, the two boys in him too. He was going to take a, a trio pick. Yeah, do that. The grape fam. Tell tell <laughs> my man, tell my man, uh, Tootie, I said what's up. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, I've heard um many stories of people being like, you know, in a restaurant or inside and, and then they go outside and it's pouring and they, they go and get bags and put them over their feet. Like mm -hmm. depending on the shoe I would do that. Normally the shoes I'm wearing, you know, like if they're LeBrons or something, those things can get soaked and they're always fine for for me. Just the, everything just beads off the you know, that hyperfuse. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's that's one great thing about about the LeBrons. Oh yeah, Jordan as well. Like parts. if you're rocking some black cements, like the leather, it's not going to be affected by the water whatsoever. Right, right. It's when you get into the suede's and new boxes where you you know when I I usually I, the reason why I have issues with Nike SB sometimes is um, the the materials are, are get dirty really really easily whether it's suede or soft material. I, I always want to wear them in the winter, but the second dirt hits those, they get really dirty. So usually I, I rock the SBs in the summertime, but... Yeah, my, my dad good. used to have uh, these things he'd wear on his uh, dress shoes called totes, like in the winter and when it was raining and stuff. And it's basically like a rubber like a rubber coating that you put around the entire shoe. So it's like a, a condom for a shoe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're called totes, I believe is the name. That's hilarious. I don't know if they make them for sneakers or not, but yeah, I always think about that. Like when I see when it's raining and I'm wearing nice shoes. Yeah, I always wear protection. <laughs> <laughs> hey, friend, you want to join us? If you're still watching, you want to join us? Take some questions with us. Yeah, I sent uh friend an invite. Oh, okay. Um, is he? I don't know, but that was like a half hour ago when he was yeah, commenting. True. Um, let's see here. Yeah, they're going in with your twist the night before. <laughs> and doing the whole little Christmas song with those grapes. Hilarious. <laughs> Everyone was stirring, especially high piece. Yeah. Wow, Kilo said camps have been camped out since way earlier today. Yeah. 
People are going in. Yeah, one of my friends texted me. He was at my mall, and he's like, there's like little 13-year-old hypebeast kids just like running through the mall. Just like waiting for the mall to close so they can start lining up. So sad. Yeah, I'm not sure. People, yeah, I bet people are camping overnight, but. Yeah, no question. I don't know, I'd rather. I, I can't do that. Especially on a GR. So, yeah, because I, I checked my, my local mall, and they're, they're only going to have one eight and a half. It's like, no, I can't even risk. Trying to get that one eight and a half. It's like it's not worth trying to camp. I just saw a picture of a great five camp out in Tokyo. There's only five kids. <laughs> and they're all probably waiting on that Roshi to drop. Yeah, most likely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> it's fine. A couple of Roshis do drop tomorrow. If you hike, uh, Roshi yeah. fans. <laughs> what were you about to say? Nothing. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm one of them. I'm going after the women's metrics, man. Mm. I don't think they would go up to my size. Because I need a, I would want to throw a women's 13, I guess I would need. so They usually don't go that high. What do you guys think about John Wall's new show? I haven't seen it yet. It looks like Dwight Howard's. Oh, well, I think... To me personally, all the Adidas signatures look exactly the same. <laughs> a lot of them do. Like yeah. all of them, like crazy lights, like the D Roses, the Howards, all of them. The silhouettes look almost identical I don't, on every the, model. The newest, the newest D Rose, I thought was a lot different than most the, of the stuff that it. The three out. or the three point five. Those are the crazy quakes, right? Right. <clears throat> I want to say the three. Yeah. But I'm about to look it up now. But the yeah, walls, they they're called the crazy quakes, yeah. though, right? I'm not saying they look bad. I like the silhouette. It's just like it seems so generic. Like, <laughs> like it seems like it's always the same kind of thing. Yeah, with the little bubble by the heel. Yeah. Yeah, those look pretty, pretty cool. I love the Year of the Dragons. Those are sick. Or Year of the Snakes. Whatever they are. You know, you know what would be so cool is uh, I would love to see, you know, in the last, I don't know, let's even say five years, a list of every Jordan's Jordan that has released and the exact number of each uh, one produced. So yeah. I, I want an exact number on bread 11s, bread 4s, great 5s. I'm just curious to know exact production. Yeah. Bread 11s is going to have the infinite uh, symbol. Henry, Henry, <laughs> haven't you, didn't you say you, you've you heard like, what, 700,000? The, the breads? The breads? Yeah, I think it's like 500,000 or something. So half a million. Um, if, you don't, if you don't have a pair by now and you're angry that you couldn't get a pair like you, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> what about you've had, you've had 97 restocks and so so what so let's put that let's just put them at half a million. What would you put the great fives at then? Because it seems like there's a lot of pairs. People are saying you know someone just posted that there's a, their local Foot Locker is gonna have a hundred pairs. You know my mall will probably have like three to five hundred pairs. I think. My House of Hoops, I heard, has like 250, and that's just one store out of five. Right, right, exactly. I have a, I have a, I have a smaller mall near me and a bigger mall. My bigger mall has Olympia Sports, Finish Line, Champs, Foot Action, Foot Locker, and Expression. So they have six sneaker mm -hmm. stores that all will carry them. Damn. They all could get, I don't know, let's just say they all get 100 pairs each. It's 600 pairs right there. Yeah. Um, the grapes? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'm just my mall curious. has House of Hoops, regular Foot Locker, Foot Action, Finish Line Champs. So you think? Are you thinking like two hundred thousand pairs made? Probably more. More. I don't well, think it's. They it's even said though that Memorial Day weekend there's a restock. They're doing the uh, Cement Fours, the Fives, which is probably going to be the Grapes again. The bread I'm elevens gonna, and gonna, the eighty-eight threes. Include any re oh yeah, mm. eighty-eight threes are supposed to restock too. Include restocks in in the total. Which Jesus. is hundred thousand. Yeah, of the grapes, you think there'll be half a million grapes? Nothing like it was in two thousand six. Right. So what about okay? Let's just take a shoe like then. Um, la looking at last year. 
What about the um, DM, the Golden Moments back? There what wasn't too many of those. Right. What would you guess beyond that then? I'm just I'm just curious. I'm just curious what you guys think as far as numbers. I'm thinking I, maybe I like 150 for those. 150,000. Yeah. Yep. It, yeah, just, sorry to interrupt, but I think I'm going to head out. Try and get right, good, good luck tomorrow. For the test. Thank you. I appreciate it. SAT okay. or ACT? Uh, SAT. ACT no, was a few, a few weeks ago. i got a couple things to respond right. to. Ross, good chatting with you, brother, though. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, uh, assuming we have a chat. If not, maybe a little off-air goodness. Always. Yeah. Peace. Good luck, brother. Good luck, um, a couple, couple people. I, can I respond to real quick? Just knock yeah. it out. Yeah. You can go back. Um, yeah. Karen Stacks. Apologies from Billy R. He, he's a great dude. He did not mean anything with the hype beast comment. Sometimes that's just thrown around jokingly, not for insult or attack reasons. So mm -hmm. don't take that personally. No one, please. There'll be a disclaimer on this at the end. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have too much fun and we we spit out some jokes that could be interpreted the wrong way. Oh no! I was um, just saying that because people, kids were trying to wait inside like a store closing in the mall, and they got caught. Right, being and sneaky. They got thrown out. Exactly, trying to be sneaky. Yeah. Which would yeah. which would be the definition of uh, trying to hide piece some pairs because they'd obviously be reselling them. I know who. And, the I, and I'm copying. Them, so. I'm copying questions, Anty. So whenever we're done stroking this <laughs> topic, um, I'll have some questions yeah, for um, you. Let's, let's let's go to some other questions. Yeah. All right. Um, Hooper Guy, I saw your comment, brother. Just waiting for a lull in the chat. Hooper Guy asks, what do you guys think was the best year for sneakers releases in the past five years? He thinks 2009 was the hottest. So last five years, what was the hottest year for sneaks? I think last year. <sighs> I think this year could dominate all. But I think last from, year is going to be tough to touch for a while. 2010 and 2011 were are probably up there for me. Uh, uh, was this Jordan only or all sneakers? Just shoes in general. Okay. Uh, mm. I thought last year was pretty, pretty damn crazy. Yeah, just last in terms of like overall numbers, I've never won that many shoes in a year in my life. Yeah. I mean, you know what's funny about last year is I bet you. Nike, I bet you that Nike, I, I'm not going to say they didn't realize, but I bet you the, the Galaxy um, theme, I bet you it was more popular than they thought. I think they knew what they had and it was going to be popular, but I didn't think they'd know. Because, they, I mean, think about that. That was February those came out. I bet they were like, these are great. Everyone's going to love them. I don't think they realized how crazy that was going to be. Yeah. Because some of those shoes people hold as just like, you know, some 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 of the coolest shoes we've seen. So when you add those into the mix last year with the Yeezys, with the Bread Elevens, the Bread Fours, um, the LeBron uh, MVP pack, you know, was LeBron's first ever championship. There was a lot that last year that yeah. it's gonna be hard, at least going forward. Times came out last year. The return of the Air Force One Eighties, like yep. There was so much. Yeah. Nate, what was what was the year you were saying? Two thousand ten, maybe. Um, yeah, I think in twenty ten. I mean, the Bordozers. Yeah. Oh, it was yeah. a good. It was a good year. That was uh. That was uh. The cool gray, right? Cool gray eleven. Yeah. Twenty thirteen. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The thing is, two thousand eleven had two of my all-time favorite shoes, but the overall year wasn't that great to me. Yeah, like the, I agree the bright with that. threes and the Concord Elevens. Yeah, Concords. The Cardinals dropped again. I like That's 2011. Also basically like when the sneaker world like metallic fives sat for weeks. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Uh, like the 20 Winter 2011 was when sneakers hit the mainstream. Right yeah. after the Concord dropped. Yeah. I don't even understand that why either. Tough one to answer. What 
What do you think is the most popular shoe of all time? Not from a, not from our standpoint, but in terms of like people buying the shoe. A regular consumer, not a, yeah. not a crazy guy who has an OCD issue. Air Force One, maybe. Nah, I'm nah. Go, honestly, I'm gonna go. Not with right the now. Elevens. In its I'm prime, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna go with the Bread Elevens. I'm gonna say, I'm saying all time though. All time. Converse, Chuck Taylors. Mm, say, uh, no. Adidas Superstar. That'd be in the conversation. What, shell toes? Yeah. Yep. Uh, brown house slipper. <laughs> yeah. It's always a classic. It's got to be one specific brand, though. I would I mean, say I, Nike I, would have it. I still love Chuck Taylors, man. I think from a number Chuck standpoint. Chuck versatile. Yeah. From a number standpoint, Chuck Taylors have got to be close. Yep. I honestly really have to give it to the Bread Eleven. There's so many people I know that don't like that aren't into sneakers and stuff that just buy Elevens, especially but, the Bread. But if we think about it, though, if it if there were even a million of those sold last year, the Chuck Taylors would still kill that, though. Okay, I guarantee no, more than a million people. Chuck Taylors are always available. Like they're never. It's, it's not going to be a shoe that's just going to release and then just. Well, well, that's that's at least for another though. set of years. That's kind of my point, though. I'm they're just also saying. half the price. Yeah. Chuck yeah. Taylors will in 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 a hundred years they'll still be selling just like this. It's a wheel that will never stop. Yeah. The Jordan wheel could stop eventually. There there will one day be a day where I think kids will will say, "Oh, who is Michael Jordan?" And when he's dead. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. There are players that, you know, our parents or, you know, we've heard of and we're like, oh, yeah, I've kind of heard of them. Well, they were mm -hmm. an amazing player in this. Great. Well, I'm a, I'm a so-and-so fan, so he doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, people will eventually not really care who Jordan is. I, I truly believe that. In, in, in 500 years, I don't know where the world's going to be, if there still will be one, in 500 years, no one's going to care who Michael Jordan was. Yeah. I, I truly believe that. However, Chuck Taylor's, that's something that I don't ever see ending. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying Jordan, Jordan Brand, I don't think they're ever going to end, but I think eventually, I think, yeah, I think Chuck Taylor is more of a, I don't know. I, I, I know what you're saying as far as just like, money-wise, I'm not sure. Money-wise, I, I, don't, I don't know, numbers-wise. I'm trying to find the answer somewhere online, but oh wait, I, we could have an answer here. It might be the Chuck Taylors. Because I know, because I know there's a lot of young kids now who, you know, maybe like nine years old. They've never heard of Larry Bird. Never heard of him. Nor do they really give a crap either. Why do I want to know about Larry wow. Bird? Wow. Yes. Yes. It is the Chuck Taylors. Uh, according to this article. More than 60% of Americans have reported owning a pair of the Chuck Taylors. 800 million pairs of the sneaker have been sold. Wow. That's insane. Mm -hmm. 800 million? 800 million. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. That's ridiculous. Well, I'm curious. Who, who, who here own, owns Chucks? I got a couple. Or has? See, I have Chucks. I do too. Never had a Chuck. Never ever. Never. Me neither. Never. Anyone else? They didn't. Never made a Galaxy colorway, so I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was not really into the Chuck, so. What about you, Jake? He stepped away for a minute, but oh. yeah, they never had a glow in the dark bottom or a solar red inner. Yeah. If you guys like Chucks. Undefeated does pretty nice collabs with they them. They do. So, man. I mean, I've got I've Is got that a the pair. John Veritos or something. The collabs with like all the leather, real nice high grain stuff. Nah. Did I even no, pronounce that like, right, man? Some Parvados. There you Parvados? go. Thank you. No, nah, but Undefeated definitely has some pretty nice collabs. So if you guys are into Chucks, check those out. I definitely agree, man. You can't go wrong. Yeah, I like the way they look. Just for some reason, I've never had one. Yeah, I just felt like it was like a Cali thing, rocking chucks with khakis. Yeah. 
Maybe, maybe for the next sneaker event, I should rock some chucks. <laughs> <laughs> just roll on deep and just chucks. How long have they been making chucks? 40? 43? So since 1915. Damn. 19 Good God, what? Yeah. 1915, all right. Yeah. yeah. Guys, we got a, a quick guest appearance. It's not Bear Pig. But it is the squeak. squeak. It is the squeak. 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 But I'm a huge cat person. Huge cat person. Cats, cats are just so weird to me, man. Yo, you don't even want to hear my my thoughts on well, cats. Well, here's the thing: I will is never have a cat. I would never get a cat. From what I'm, I don't know many people who are who love cats like I do because I get the same answer. Like, oh, they, they, I don't know. They're creepy, man. My, I think they're cool seen, animals, but I'll never seen, own one. You ever seen yeah. Meet the Parents? Yeah. Where, uh, mm -hmm. where, um, what's his name, De Niro? Talks about a cat and dog. Hey, he says, Hello, your phone. You, have, you have to work. Is that me? No, it's Philly's phone. Uh, too close to speaker. He says, uh, you know, a cat. You have to work for their affection. You know. Yeah. Like that they they're just they're easy to maintain too. Like you can just they you, are easy to maintain. And and they just go do their thing. Whereas dogs, it, yeah. it's having a kid almost. <laughs> dogs are so loyal though, man. Oh, they're well, fun. Here's another reason too. Is is I had a dog growing up. I think he lived to be about 14, black lab. Dogs, like you said, they're so loyal and they're such I, – I look at them almost as as close to humans. So, like, having a dog, knowing that it's I, – I hate having pets sometimes because I it's very painful to, yeah. to lose an animal. So, like, if you have a dog, you build such a close relationship with it that <laughs> – you know what I mean? That or it's like pain. you're just like whatever. Yeah, whatever. When we had to put our dog to sleep, it was so painful. I was like, I don't think I could have another dog because I I, I I can't go through that. Yeah. Cats. I mean, not saying that, you know when they die. Like this cat here. <laughs> I have a cat right here. She's 19 years old. Like good lord. Yeah, and I I got her when I was in the fourth grade. I was thinking I was 10 years old. I'm, I'm 28 <laughs> now. So. Um, He's got that man beast in his arms. <laughs> uh, yes, bear pig. Okay. The cats are cool, but the thing is, with cats, they shit, they walk around in it, and they hop up on your kitchen counter, and then they hop up <laughs> on your dining room table, and then you go to eat breakfast. Dude, there was a story no, no, about a dog. They were shitting and walking away, you know, like rocking all around your counters. Look at That's Bear Pig right kind of now. Yeah. You're rocking uh, her like a baby. Yeah, Bear Pig, she, she's getting old, man. Dude, there was, a story, old. there was a story I read about a dog. Uh, that, this is a recent story. Where this dog, his owner died, and he's been sitting on the owner's grave for like ten years. What? Is that the truth, yeah. though? What? Is that the truth? Because I'm so sick of those pictures being posted left and right. Oh, his dog. No, no. Th okay. There's already like been a famous story about this uh, happening with a uh, Akita in Japan. It was a uh, Hajiko. Like they made multiple movies about it. Like they've got a statue there, stuff like that. But other dogs have done this over time where they'll sit on their owner's grave for, like, 15 years. And, like, there was a story that came out recently, true story. I think it was a German shepherd or something like that where it's been going back to its owner's grave every single night for, like, 10 years. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. I'll see if I can find the article here. Um... Yeah, I mean, Wee's 757 said there's no way Michael Jordan will ever be forgotten. There's too much evidence, shoes, stories, videos. Yeah, I, I agree with that, but I, I was saying in 500 years, that's a long time. You know, Jordan's only, what, 50? He's still pretty pretty fresh and current. It's not like it's been... I'm talking, you know, in, in 500 years, I don't know. Who knows? I, I feel like younger kids don't do their their homework on on. So, oh, I gotta see this article on, on old athletes. How advanced medical science is and training and how the unification of pure pussiness has overcome the NBA. There yeah. might be someone that's even currently playing that's going to surpass Jordan as well. So who knows? Fifty years from now. There can only be one Jordan, you're right, 
but there can be someone that trumps his greatness. That's the thing. Exactly. Cause, cause he's Jordan, not always Jordan, gonna be the best. Bottom line, he's not always. No, gonna be. you can never be the best. There's always someone out there better. But the thing is, Jordan, like, kind of a dick. I mean, he's my childhood like guy. I always watched. Like, I didn't look up to him like a role model or something like that. But he was always into gambling issues. Um, whores, shout out to whores and blow. I understand, man. Do your thing. It's okay. But he has controversy. So what if what if like someone comes around that's like a saint that does all that good, stays with one team, doesn't retire three times, doesn't have any betting scandals or any issues with the owner of you know his team he's playing for, doesn't act like a pompous douchebag. It, it it'll happen. It'll happen. He's iconic, but and I, an iconic person in any type of media, from an actor to a sports player, the time's limited. Nothing's forever except a diamond. Mm -hmm. Limited, well, yeah. Now, one thing about Jordan, though, is hey, when LeBron's he was in the league. Hey, LeBron's fourth MVP in five seasons. Yeah. It's true. But LeBron, I don't know, not LeBron, but Jordan, when he was in the league, he was definitely humble. Like, he, he would also, he would always, like, give, like, Give props to his team and stuff. Your Stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yes, of course, Steve Kerr. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah, they were hate towards the Jordan. Got a huge fight and punched him in the face. His, his legacy won't be forever. He will always be Jordan, of course. Not to take away what he's done, but his no legacy. Word. Yo, he's a player where his legacy is going to be forever. Nah, forever's, like a Babe Ruth forever's kind too of deal. Damn long, man. Like a Babe Ruth kind of deal, exactly. You know who's yeah. like the biggest a hole ever? I heard Kevin Garnett. Oh, oh fuck course. Kevin Garnett, man. Are we back on air? Yeah, we're we're yeah. <laughs> Pizza again, <laughs> Optimus? You lucky Dude, bastard. It's leftovers. Leftovers. I want some. <laughs> Optimus giving no fucks about summer. <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm like five months too late from summer shit. <laughs> Bikini weather's coming. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bikini. Some of these people were going off on uh, Billy. One person goes, I think Billy is high, high talking about Jordan being humble. He was humble <laughs> when he played. No comment. <laughs> nah, well, I had a few I had a few beers though, I'm not gonna lie. Were you a Knicks fan? Hell yeah. You should hate Jordan. I hated Jordan. But he humbled him. <laughs> I, I, I did hate Jordan. But he was a, he was always a great competitor, so I mean it's just like you really can't hate on that. Yeah, I don't think Jordan I think he portrayed humbleness, you know, and that's a good thing, but I think what he portrayed to the media and what he was behind closed doors exactly. is nice. Can you imagine can you imagine Jordan in today's uh media? Yeah, that guy asked an interesting <laughs> question. That would be a different story because this is before social media, so yeah. it might be something completely different. He, this guy just asked, would you wear a, an athlete's signature shoe if he was gay? <laughs> 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 no, it's probably because it was on one of the blogs. I saw that posted like on Soul Collector or something. 
Like as an article or something. I don't know. Someone sounds like they're outside. <laughs> it's a windstorm somewhere. Yeah. It's Billy. Yep. Yeah, it's Billy. You got oh, a fan or something. Hold up, let me turn the shit down. How many rings do you think LeBron wears? Yeah, wins. What was your question? How many rings does LeBron walk away with? Yeah. I don't know. He's going to pull the Kobe and get five. I don't know, man. It's hard to say. Yeah, I'm really going to say is. four. It's too early to determine, to be honest. If these teams say. are... If these teams continue to play like shit, then yeah. I, I don't know. A yeah, lot. if the, if the league is is yeah, I'm I'm going. I think I think five. I'm gonna go four and seven or eight MVPs. I think he wins. Well, think about it. He, he has four MVPs. He's 28. He's gonna he's gonna win two more. He's getting better. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's what's scary. Is he's getting better. That's ridiculous. Uh, I feel like they haven't even played a legitimate game in months now because they just because everybody's been injured. Yeah, sitting and waiting. Uh, I think the Spurs uh, can do something this year, man. I think that I think they can. I agree with you. I think they're the only team in the NBA that can possibly beat them. Yeah, I think the the Pacers will give them a game or two. Oh yeah. Uh. But do you think he stays in Miami when his? Uh... I think easily. Yeah. I think he stays for another two or three years, and then he goes somewhere else to finish. I don't see why he would leave at this point. There's no need. LeBron yeah, went to the leave. Knicks. That's why they dropped that superhero color in the blue and orange on <laughs> those logos, though. The other thing Same. is he, he can always sign for the most amount of money with the Heat. Yeah, but he doesn't need money, dude. The money that he's getting from Nike. And, uh, yeah, you know, the money's yeah. already people, made, like, people expecting LeBron to go back to the Cavs, no question. All the shit, all the shit he got for leaving Cleveland, he's not gonna leave Miami. Like I just don't see no, him. It make, he has to have a big enough reason to leave Miami. And Miami no, I think if he goes Miami anywhere, now. yeah, if I th if he goes anywhere, I think he might finish up his last couple years in Cleveland. I don't think he goes anywhere but there. Yeah, he might try to win, or try to win a ring back at home, but that might that'll probably be it. But after after the whole thing between him and Dan Gilbert, and now they rehired Mike Brown, like <laughs> I just don't see it. Yeah, but now they got Kyrie. Yeah, but Kyrie's yeah. probably gonna leave in a year or two. That's true. Well, Dan Gilbert's a tool bag. Yeah, he's an idiot. Yeah. Yeah. Mike Brown's not exactly a great coach either. I don't know why they right. hired him. So I don't know why they didn't just wait and see what their options were. They were just like Team No Fucks. Give me. Mike Brown, come back. <laughs> they fucking busted their nut way too early. Yeah, signed him before the playoffs even got underway almost. Like, what the hell? They were too antsy to get him back. And they signed him a little big big contract, didn't they? Like five yeah. years or something? Like, I don't understand that. These owners are idiots, man. Yeah. Give it your nut. What the, Yeezy, what the Reezy said about Brown not winning five, not six, not seven, not eight. Even so, nobody will ever touch Bill Russell's record with 11. It's not sure. going to happen. I don't think anyone's oh, going to come close to Robert Ory's 8 it, or yeah, 7, I mean. It, it, so, yeah, it was a different time for for Bill Russell, but Ory was just on the right team at the right time. Yeah, lucky. <laughs> Some good questions coming in if you want me to go on them. Yeah, team Horror. Ask this one. Um, Mike Diwali on Twitter. Uh, what do you think is one brand that will be the most surprising with uh, new releases this year? What the heck? Oh, Who's having a seizure in mute the, yourself? The <laughs> That's not me. Hey, Henry. Henry, did you put your lips again? That's not me, dude. Oh, sorry. It was no, Billy and Henry's time? mic going pegged. It was both of your guys' <laughs> mic. Oh, no, it's not me. I turned my fan down. I need a Tony Reality mute button right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, any any particular brand, uh, any surprising new releases from any other different brands or... Reebok's been stepping its game up. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Hip hop Linda. <laughs> uh, She's their own brand now. I love I love New Balance. <laughs> yeah, dude, New Balance is crazy. I think Saucony's doing big things too. Yeah. Do you guys think New Balance will ever get like a uh, athlete representative? No. Or like someone's 
Someone like uh, it'll be like Dirk Nowitzki or somebody like that. Yeah. <laughs> Dirk Nowitzki New Balances. That's gonna be the hot seller. New Balance isn't used for sports though, is it? Yeah, no, it's not. It's like running. I think running. they do running, but that's yeah. it. Cross training, maybe stuff that's, like that. I mean, that's I it. think they could make a basketball shoe if they wanted to. Oh yeah, some of the tech and their their more expensive like new they, they, generation runners is really nice. I mean, I'm they sure were they rocked. Could, they were rocked all the time back in the '80s in bas- on basketball court. Yeah, was I'm it? Sure cook up yeah, soccer. was it New Balance of the first people to approach Jordan? Or that I don't know. <laughs> yeah, what New Balance did used to have like some some people rocking their stuff in the '80s. Yeah, no, I forget. There was there was a company James that, Worthy, that maybe? Jordan was trying to decide between Nike and another other another Adidas. brand. I, I think I think it was Adidas. Oh, you sure? Yeah. As soon as I thought it was a, a really random brand, because at the time he was like, he never worn a pair of Nikes in his entire life. He said before he signed with them. Yeah, I just looked it up. James Worthy uh, rock New Balances. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If they retroed some of those, do you think they'd sell? No. <laughs> no. If the you... Ewing can sell, man. No. That's true. That brick looking thing. Oh. No. These Goodness. look just like the Ewings. <laughs> They've got a pump on them and everything. Yeah, the problem was Adidas didn't make Jordan the offer because all Jordan was wearing was Adidas. Well, that's all he wanted to wear was Adidas. And um, it actually said that he was pretty disappointed about that, but then Nike came with the offer and he went with Nike, but he was trying to hold out for Adidas. Imagine how that would have went. What, uh, you got a few more questions, Nate, that you, you saw? Oh, I got tons. Um, let's go well, with... I'm going to do it in the order. Yeah, let's this sneak. dude said Matt Bonner wears New Balance, and I looked it up. He does wear New Balance. Wow. Oh. Yeah. That's I guess they're, they're for tall white guys, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Dirk Nowitzki's signature. Dude, right. And then somebody else said uh, that Pedroia has signature cleats, which he does. I almost bought him that back when I was playing baseball. PD, yeah, he wears uh, <laughs> he has his own like New Balance signature cleat. Yeah, that's obviously baseball though. Right. All right, Nate, give me one. I'll just do it in order. Uh, Sneaker stop. About an hour ago, asked out of the three main Nike signatures to release, which one surprised you the most? Which one was the biggest letdown? I'm gonna say the one that surprised me the most was the Kobe Eight. When I first saw the pictures of them, I wasn't feeling them at all. When I saw them in person, I was instantly hooked. How light the shoe was, I was like, wow, it's going to be a doe shoe this summer just to like wear around, walk around and everything. Or even just like wear to the gym or whatnot. Uh, yeah. dis- disappointing would definitely be the KD5. I mean, I do have a few pair of those. They kind of do look nice, but in the I'm- end, it definitely was more disappointing. It felt like more of a step back from the KD4. Uh, and I agree, the, uh, LeBron I agree 10. with you on the Kobe 8. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I will say LeBron 10, uh, the model I like colorway-wise, they really let me down. LeBron 10 colorways. I just didn't understand. Uh, they, everything would seem really one-dimensional, whereas you go and look at the 9, it seems like the color blocking on all of them was – like they, they all had a theme, whereas these ones, I, I just feel like they Boring. didn't – yeah, everything which just seems like one color. You know, the canary, I'm gonna, gray. I'm going to uh, take it in a different direction. Yeah. Um, and I'm just going to strip what colorways came out for all these shoes. I'm just going to look at the model itself. The one that most surprised me, LeBron 10. That's a sick shoe. Diamond cut, very nice shoe. The cushioning, the tech that's in the shoe. I think the Kobe 8, I like it better than the Kobe 7. I don't think it's too far much different. Uh, most disappointing, hands down, KD5. But I'm going to go with the LeBron 10. Amen. I was expecting the LeBron 10 to be dope just because it was his 10th signature shoe. So I knew they had to come out with something that was like good looking and comfortable. This, this um, is a question. I have a question. It may be kind of stupid just because, uh, you know, we. I feel like we we t- we tend to compare LeBron to Jordan, but that's just going to happen. You know, people can get old. That just that just comes with it. Uh, do you think because the Jordan 11 is so iconic that LeBron g- feels pressured, or or his people that design the shoe feel pressured to make the LeBron 11 yeah. something special? 
Nah, I think Jordan has way too many iconic shoes from the one, the three, yeah. the four, the five, the six, the the seven, the the ten, the eleven. The yeah, he has too many. He has too Walk many through everything. What, what I what I'm noticing now, and again, I haven't been getting LeBrons since the LeBron AZG drop. Like I'm not that deep in my knowledge game, but what I've noticed as an outsider is that. The LeBrons finally are starting to take off, and I think the LeBron 7 Up are badass shoes all around with the signature name behind it or without the signature name behind it. Yeah, the uh, the 7 is when Jason Petrie took over. Mm-hmm. So he did the 7, 8, and 9, and 10. And the I'm not taking away favorite. from the 4. The 4, to some people, yeah. the 4 is badass. You know, totally different, off the grid. I know Jason Donner just got those all-star game ones. I know the AZGs yeah. are a lot of favorites, mm -hmm. but I'm just saying from outside the box, the seven up, and dude, LeBron's signature line's killing it, looking very promising. No, you're right about that because that's when people started to take notice of the LeBron line. Yes. Now, that's yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't. I didn't notice the LeBron line until the sevens, honestly. I mean, I thought all the other. The ones that are kind of whack. Uh, the fours are cool because it resembles pretty much like a foam posit, but everybody says they're heavier than a freaking brick. I'm yeah, still mad. Well, I passed well, on some of those sevens well, that were on the, the shelves. Basketball shoe I've ever played in. That's they're fast. so heavy. Uh, fours. Yeah. And and you know how it's like on the bottom they've got the separate flaps or whatever. Like how they they're spaced out. Yeah. One of them on mine after about two months just completely ripped off. You lost me. <laughs> well, you got another question? I do. Yeah, do you want me to lighten the mood or you want me to keep it serious? It's got a little bolt here. Let's keep it serious for a second. Okay, not a problem. Brandon Park, question. Most talented player of all time, not greatest. Pure talent, as in like Oscar or LeBron, etc. Pure talent, NBA player. I'm about to go with Pistol Pete on this one, or Jerry West. Pistol Pete was dope. Yep, I'm about to go old, old, old school. Yeah, I mean that's funny you mention it because I was I was, was going to say Pistol Pete because if you <laughs> look at talent, you have to say like everything on a drill: passing, shooting, dribbling, and if you lined up pretty much any player and compare them with Pistol Pete. Maybe you could throw Larry Bird in that mix. Yeah. It's not how, how are we defining talent here? All around, like... To me, it's like... It's got to be Jordan. Nah. What, bias? It has to be Jordan. He, the he thing was about black Pistol hole. Pete... He was. He was good, but he was a black how hole. How about Will Chamberlain? He, dude, you can score that many points, but you shoot 50% from the free throw line... That was an error where his yeah, size yeah, but, just benefited if we're, him. If we're, are we looking at, like, skills, or are we looking at, like, physical talent? No, that's like Dikembe Mutombo playing against midgets. <laughs> <laughs> it would be huge. No, hey, Will played against uh, some, some, a lot of toward, seven footers. True, towards the end of his career, but in the early, what, Bill Russell? That's all well, I had to work with? Come on, man. Well, also, uh, Nate Thurman, Wes Unseld. Like, there were other, like, legit big dudes. But, yeah, but what Nate was saying about Pistol Pete, he played before the three-point line was instituted. Yeah, Pistol Pete's probably one of my – he may be my favorite player ever. But yeah, I'm just curious as to how we're defining talent. I'll, say, saying, it's like, I'll say it's open, but, I mean, to me, it's like what – to me, it's like imagine a game of horse in every facet of the game, right? Like shooting, dribbling. I think Pistol Pete – if you equate the game of horse to dribbling, passing, shooting, Pistol Pete could do stuff that nobody else could do. Pistol Pill yeah. Pete would crush the skills challenge. Definitely. Kill. No question. He was ahead of his time. Johnson's got to be up there. I mean, sorry, he was before his time. I would, yeah, I would agree with that. He was definitely before his time, no question. Just when I think of all-around pure, I, for some reason it's always Pistol Pete. Always. Yeah. I'm trying to think who else would be up there. Larry, like I said, Larry Legend. He has to be up there for me. Um, uh, Reggie Miller. He'd be up there for Steve me. Nash, John Stockton. No, 
No, or not. Or not. John Stockton is the only player other than Bird and Nowitzki to have a 50, 40, 90 season. That's ridiculous. And I think he had like three or four of them. Bias. I see that there. That's a good one. Javel McGee, sir. I saw Larry Bird in the interview said that he would have retired uh, the year that Lynn Bias came if, you know, he would have, maybe like the year after or whatever, he would have came on the team. What so was that, 88? Somewhere around that, yeah. Most clutch would be Jordan, though. Oh, yeah, I mean, Jordan's the greatest ever. Jordan and Bird. Bird was clutch as hell. You could put Kobe on that clutch team as well. It took a while for him to get it. I remember Kobe airballing the shot in the playoffs. Yeah. Well, the thing is, the thing is too, like, uh, there was a season where they ranked uh, made clutch baskets. It was four or five years ago, and LeBron made, like, 50% of his clutch baskets where Kobe made 25%. Mm. But yet everybody thought Kobe was a better clutch player just because 90% of his clutch shots were jumpers, whereas LeBron's going to the basket most of the time. Yeah, yeah. You know and LeBron got hated on for a couple plays where he would, like, make the right play, like the Danielle Marshall pass and yeah. you know, things like that. Yeah, well, that's the thing. LeBron is such a good passer. Such a good passer. Yeah. Speaking of talented players, this is not no type of all-time argument, but I always liked uh, watching Jason Williams play when he was with the Kings. Oh, white chocolate! Yeah. <laughs> he was one of he was probably my favorite player as a kid. Yeah. We can knock this one out real quick. Rit Nine asks, "What y'all rocking today?" Well, start the day off, I wore my 2011 White Cement 3s. But then for the Nick game, I, I threw on the, the, uh, the mellow Actually, ones. I got the I got the white Roshis on right now. Jake, what do you think? <laughs> They're limited, though, so. That's the gray split pack. Yeah, they've got the gray, gray hit on the back. With the, the toe is gray. Those are fire. Would you consider selling those? <laughs> Trade only. VNDS. <laughs> <laughs> Only one around the house every day. <laughs> oh. I wore the LeBron 8 Summit Lakes. Nice. Ooh. I wore my Sperry's for work, and then I changed it into my Lava 10's for the fail movie attempt of Iron Man 3. <laughs> it was bad? It sold out. Oh, you no, just I, sold out. I couldn't get tickets. I was about to say. No, dude. I, I I've, heard, the... I've heard really good things. They're going to restock. I rocked the Solar 8 V2 lows, and this afternoon I changed into the AM97 joints, OG. Yeah. I rocked the LeBron 9 low USAs. Nice. Hey, hey, what, what, what do you have there? I didn't see a foot. What, man? What do you have on you right now? Foot? Oh, oh nice. 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 Hey, did you rock? your bread 11s the other night, last weekend? Yeah. Oh, I, I was going to do a video about this, too, because, uh, okay, so I've worn my cool grays probably 50 times, like 50, 60 times. It's like one of the shoes I wear more often than any other shoe. Yeah. And they still do not have, like, a full crease, like right here. It's got, like, you little wrinkles, saying? right? Yeah, it's just, like, very, very minor, almost nothing. The breads... Wore them one day and they've already had. They already have a straight line, full crease across them. Woo! Like it's ridiculous. But you think? What do you think? Just the the leather, the patent leather they use is completely different. I think, it, I think it may be a combination of. I think on the cool gray is because it's got this kind of a bump. Mesh, you know what I'm saying? Like right. It's like a. I don't know what material it is, and I, I'm not sure if like the patent leather goes on top of that material. You know what I'm saying? Because if it's mesh, yeah. it's just going to easily, it's going to bend a lot easier. But like the cool grays have a much thicker material. 
Yeah. Yeah, like this is straight mesh. Right. Mm -hmm. Where, what is this, like a suede or a new buck or? Yeah, it's a new buck on the upper. But like, it's like almost, it's almost like a leather kind of feel to it. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's a little weird. So I think that may have something to do with it. Ready for another? Yeah. I'm going to go way back to the beginning of the chat when it started. David Brown, 1995, asks, If you guys each had to pick a Jordan shoe numbered 15 to 23, what would it be, colorway, and the reasoning for the pick? Black suede 21s. Red suede 21s, and why would you go with or that Italian one? Red suede 21s. But um, those were kind of the first shoe that I saw that made me want to get into shoes. Plus, I just think they're fire, man. Really? Nice. Yeah. I saw those in the white and black 21s. Some people had them in my middle school at the time. Man, that was a tough one. I, I, I would mm -hmm. probably say cherry wood 16s. Oh, yeah. You're coming. Mine would be the navy blue 16s. Yeah. I, I, wore, I wore those almost as much as I wore the Concords when I was younger. Mine would be the, the last game 18s, the White and um, Royals. One of the shoes that I first bowled in for actual Jordans, uh, the Black Toe 14s. Yeah, those are sick. Black and Royal 18s, I got a double up pair of those. I thought that when I saw that shoe on the shelf when it came out, I thought it was like an outer space shoe. I had no idea what that was, and I, I, I was immediately drawn to it. So, My fun. dad wouldn't even let me own the 17s because they were so expensive. The suitcase. Exactly. They were $200. Yep. That was the first athletic shoe that was 200 Yep. Like, it made big headlines. Well, how much were the foams? Uh, 190 right, when they came out? When they first 180. came out? 180. 180. 180. Yeah, back then? Yeah. Basically, like, all the drug dealers had foams back then. That's pretty, pretty much, much how it was. I just it, was like, it was like a staple shoe, like, yeah, I got money. I remember all those kicks used to be in the East Bay on sale, and now mm -hmm. they don't even put Jordan Retros in East Bay because they sell nope. out you know, in 10 minutes. Exactly. Am Karen I, and Stacks had x do you guys walk like you have something up your ass to prevent creases? No nope. offense. Or what <laughs> My do you answer do? is hell no. I don't give a shit about creases. Yeah, hell, yeah. <laughs> creases are something that's gonna happen with a shoe. Poopy so, I used to. I used to somewhat, and like, I, it depends on the shoe. But ninety-nine percent of the time, I just walk like they're any other kid. Yeah. Yeah. One of my friends was doing that when he wore the corks. I was like, bro, <laughs> you look retarded. <laughs> and, it's, and, it's, and it's taken away from the shoe. And it you makes know, like, you look stupid because it looks like you just got butt raped by them. <laughs> exactly. Ooh, all right. Well, we we're talking no. about funny stuff. Uh, we know another person, is. though. We know another six, person, though, that does no, that. Well. Hours, and... 0605100 asks, women in booty shorts or yoga pants? Booty shorts. I gotta, go, oh. I gotta go booty shorts. No, booty not shorts. Wait, are, wait, wait, wait a second. Are they, are a they hard tight, line to cross. Now. Are they tight booty shorts or are they kind of loose? Dude, yoga pants you can see. Yoga out. Yoga pants. Yeah, but tight booty pants is like yoga, yoga, or tight booty shorts is like yoga pants that are cut short. I'm sorry, and yoga pants may be one of the greatest inventions ever. Well, I can't argue that, but. I'm going to go on the other end of the spectrum. What I want to see is a lady with a good education <laughs> <laughs> and a Where great personality. Where are what? Pants? What a yeah, high that's right a day. joke. That's a joke. Uh, uh, that's for, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, speaking of, did you guys see Charles Barkley uh, about a week ago? His comments. No. When uh, I, he said that playing on a sprained ankle was worse than giving birth, and then <laughs> then then after that, Kenny Smith goes. Hey, uh, Charles, why don't you have a watch? And then uh, Charles looks to Kenny and goes, because there's a clock on the stove. <laughs> or he's talking... <laughs> oh, 
Oh my gosh. And it was all it was all within a five minute segment. <laughs> on that TNT uh, halftime thing. That's hilarious. I would have to go with yoga pants though. Cellulite is a terrible thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bro. You get the right ass and then booty shorts, and it's a wrap. It's just true. That's what, That's what I'm but saying, then, man. But then for me, if I see that, I'm thinking, wow, did I just see that? Because you know that, can't, that that makes me feel dirty. No, if you see booty <laughs> shorts. Yoga pants doesn't. Well, listen to this. If you see yoga pants, it's like maybe you see it from a distance. But if you see booty shorts, usually something's about to go down because that means them pants just came off. Oh, oh come I'm on. Just saying, I'm just saying. Come on. Real talk. All right. Real talk. Right, right. I mean, you I'm gotta, out of questions, by the way. You got to think best case scenario. So I mean, if it's you know just general, yeah, there's some really bad cases of both out there. But mm -hmm. in the best case scenario, booty shorts. I'm I'm all chips on the table. <laughs> and I'm out of questions, by the way, guys. All right, all right. Well, see you later, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we're out of questions and we're off air. Uh, oh, booty, 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 booty. Karen Stacks asked, do you guys walk like you have something up your ass to prevent creases? No offense. Yeah. Like, oh, I, I like actually I, 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 I already read before. Oh, you did? Oh, where were I? I wasn't here. Were well, you doing uh, another video behind the scenes right now? No, I wasn't. <laughs> there you are. Yeah, you yeah, are. Got him, got him, got him. No, he's gonna be know. like off camera. He's gonna be like, "Yeah, this is the part where Nate acts like a total dick." <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> you know you're gonna see that vlog in three days. Mm -hmm. I promise you, there will be no vlog. <laughs> oh, it's gotta be one with squeaky. <laughs> uh, I make a video while I make a video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's your guys' most anticipated shoe for the rest of the summer? I okay. don't know about it yet. Shout out to eBay. So, yeah. no, that's right. my answer all the time. Every shoe time I to hear come this, out. It's... Shoe to release. Ah, it's so hard to say. I don't know what's coming out yet. This, the... five. Yes, yeah, so those would be up there for me too. LeBron, LeBron 11. Kobe 9. KD 6. This summer? I'm pretty sure yeah, this summer. Drop this summer. summer. <laughs> Nah, I'm joking. This summer, I, was like, ah. <clears throat> I don't know, man. It's too hard to say. I guess from what I know, friends and family fives. <laughs> That'd definitely be up there. The the all red fours definitely dope. The black dirty grapes. Yeah. Honestly, I'm looking forward to those metallic silver gamma blue Barclay posits. Yeah, those are sick too. Raped. <laughs> what? <laughs> He you say raped? <laughs> Nate the super great ass can we get him great fives for retail? If you wear a size nine, we can. If you if you do, <laughs> I have a size nine for you. Bacos once just tweeted to you, I don't know. Oh did he? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm about to head out. I need to get some studying done. Quitter. Alright, study. Who's quitting? <laughs> Who's quitting? <laughs> Who's quitting? <laughs> Who's quitting? <laughs> you out of here? Where's Aberg 1000 asked if Nate was sponsored by Staple. No, no but he Jeff, probably should be. Jeff just makes some super dope tees, man. Nits, yeah. yeah you want awesome. Jay Paint? Jay Paint, you leaving? Yeah, I think so. All right, man. Hey, thanks for, for stopping by. No problem, no problem. We'll talk to you soon. Hey, good luck tomorrow to your Bulls. Hopefully they can, they can uh, pull it out. I must have had 500 man, pairs of those pumas are made. These finals, man. <laughs> I know, very stress, very stressful weekend. Yeah. All right, take it easy, guys. Good luck with school. See you later, man. Later, bro. Yeah. Cheers, brother. Shout out to Red Solo <laughs> Cups. <laughs> <laughs> now sing the song. I'll get you the payment for putting me on your list later. Who's that, Keith Urban? Uh, that's uh, Toby Keith. Toby Keith, right? Yeah, yeah. On that Toby Keith tease. <laughs> Oh, all right, all right. Let's see. Let's see. So eleven now. We'll wrap up at eleven thirty. So twenty-five more minutes of questions. Uh, if anyone's new, oh, we, we're at one hundred and twenty live viewers. So if anyone new, we're doing questions only. So 
Ask any questions you want. It's Great Miss Eve. It's Great Miss Eve. The grapes Great release Eve. tomorrow. Great if, Miss if Eve. You're, if you're watching this and camping, leave a comment. That would be cool. <laughs> Please. <laughs> if you're I'll watching like this and camping, I hope you have an external charger because you're probably going to have a dead battery by the time. And if you're watching this in camping, comes. put it on, take out your headphones and let me know when you're ready. I'll give a shout out to the line members. Yeah. <laughs> Eight, oh, no. Eight, Bird 1000 asks if you're sponsored by Staple. That was five minutes ago. <laughs> yo, Andy, you're, you're lagging like the Celtic game, homie. Yo, you, yo Andy's new nickname is going to be Xerox. Guys, the Celtics are going to come back right now. They're only <laughs> 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 Half time. It's I'm game. on a 20 minute delay in my life right now. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God, that's great. Spot. I don't know. Uh, man, let's see. Oh yeah, what's up with those Green Glow fours? I don't. I don't think I. I like those. Honestly, they kind of oh, remind me of like the LeBron nine Easter lows a little bit, yeah, kind of like with that mint nine. colorway. It's like an Easter kiss. And they don't glow. <laughs> no, it's just like that green, like... Yeah, if they glue, it'd be no story. It's the color of glow. Honestly, I think the fact that it doesn't glow means it's going to be less hype around it. Oh, Yay. cool. Wop, wop. Yeah. I don't think uh, they need to glow in the dark, Jordan. Maybe Hold Jordan on. doesn't have glow-in-the-dark technology yet. <laughs> we Know Music Inc. <laughs> we Know Music Inc. says camping right now, LOL. That's awesome. Awesome. Bro. Speaker phone. Uh, uh, What's kind of camping? Sne sneak dreams. Uh, oh, hold on. Your boy on the C team says, "Do you guys plan to rock your grapes this weekend?" Hell yeah! I might just rock, rock them right from the store. Cop and rock. Th yeah. This is a cop and rock. I'm not yeah. even gonna sit on them. This would definitely be one of those cop and rocks. It's um, spring. It's nice out. Like, why not just enjoy it mm -hmm. right away? Yeah. Like, I'm not even worried about everyone else wearing them just because I'm like, whatever. Hey, we all have the same Lick the bottoms first. Lick the bottoms first. Yeah. <laughs> Take a picture, send it to Nate, and throw them on feet. Yeah, please. Tag me in all that, please. That's that's exactly what I want to see. <laughs> I feel like if there's one shoot, is... Jordan, you could get away with rocking right away. It's the grapes right now. Just because of the time of year it is. Yeah, and and it's been a while since it's been a, it's yeah. been a while, you know. And It definitely was. six. Oh, yeah, six. you don't see. I actually don't don't ever see anyone rocking grapes. I've maybe seen one pair. You're about yeah, to see a lot of people. I but know. But the Chicago tens <laughs> drop, and no one wears it. Only time been retro. The Obsidian twelves drop. No one wears them. Right. Actually, yeah, you're right. I hardly see any of the Chicago tens being looking rocked at all. I still got my DS. I like this. Same. My pair still DS yeah, too. No problem. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to rock first, though. I'm either going to rock the Platinums or the Grapes. Depends. What you laughing at? Uh, oh, Jalen Rose, halftime show. <laughs> Someone said they saw the green glows glowing. Uh, oh, really? Where did you see them? <laughs> Where did you see them? I want to see, I want to see a picture of you looking at them. That's fine. <laughs> I will PayPal gift you twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! it kicks I X. I think you saw a Google image of Hip Hop Linda IOP. Yeah, no, I saw it, man. I got it straight from Soul Land. Oh. <laughs> it's an authentic website. I don't know what you're talking about. That's all right, man. I have the flexible outsoles. Mina cool. Kicks was asking, "What play do you guys think?" Gets the best PEs. Honestly, I feel LeBron, like right nah, hands down. I feel like Quentin Richardson had dope PEs. Had LeBron, like, easiest question. LeBron is yeah, dude. LeBron, LeBron by far. It. It'd be interesting if Jordan played now. Like his PEs would be insane. Yeah. It's, it's just interesting because it's like you know Jordan. It made sense. Jordan didn't rock PEs because he wanted to sell his shoes. You know, like. LeBron's not having trouble selling his shoes, but it's just different because there's so many colorways that drop. Yes. And Jordan just wore his four or five colorways, and they sold out, you know, for the most part over time. Has anyone ever uh, cr created a list or, or come up with a list of every shoe Jordan has ever worn 
not only on court, but off court. That would be a long ass list. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you're blowing the C team definitely. I'm hearing like most stores have like 20 to 25 pairs each. But it, it's definitely going to be a dope shoe. Um, I don't know if it's going to sell out in all areas though. Uh, I know New York, it's definitely going to sell out though, no question. But so, some areas they might sit a little bit. It's definitely a hot shoe for summer though, no question. <laughs> Oh. All right, children. <laughs> Come on, get it together. We got like 15 minutes. We gotta, we gotta end solid. Oh, <laughs> we haven't been silly all night, though, man. All right, uh, Freddy Not TV. Shout out to Freddy TV. Um, Freddy. Let me, let me catch up. Uh, oh yeah, we were discussing. Oh yeah, yeah, he was discussing how LeBron wears. PEs, and well, he doesn't only wear PEs, but we were basically discussing how we wish he wore more of the shoes that released on court. You know, he does, though, if you think about it. Like, pretty much every shoe that has been released, he's worn that at least somewhat matches jersey, you know, except for like the seaweeds or whatever. Right. He wore yeah, the that, that's the main problem, though. He wore Shit the weeds. Ways. He wore it pretty much every. Every GR shoe he has worn. Is is there a does he get fined? Let's just say he wears um, a shoe that doesn't match his uniform. Does he get a fine for that? Yes, yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> he does, right? No, I don't know, man. I don't. Because like the jades, the Rondo, jade, Rondo the, the got jades fined. don't match. Rondo Did got fined for wearing. Uh, Pink foams. Those shoes that, yeah, the pink foams. He got fined for those. So I'm sure LeBron Rondo did. Yeah. Okay, so LeBron. I mean, in baseball, if in in football, it's like I forget who it was. They got fined ten. Frank Gore got fined ten grand because his socks weren't pulled up all the way. Yeah, NFL is really serious about it. But at the end of the day, you know, LeBron's not the one personally paying that. Nike will gladly take the hit or however that works. And, yeah. Um, if that's even the case, you know, there may be certain guidelines. I know Christmas is kind of, you know, free flow. They do whatever they want. So yeah. it'd be, I'd be curious to actually hear the rule and regulation behind it. Yeah. Aber right, 1000. Oh, David Stern real quick. Let me see. Oh, I'll see if I can get him in the stream. Uh. <laughs> I was saying, Aberg 1000 was saying his boutique in his mall is selling grapes for 280 in store. Don't oh, pay that fine. price. You'll be able to yeah. get them. Yeah, they're going to be restocked, like, a lot. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely going to be a shoe that's going to be restocked a lot. I mean, pretty much check finish line Tuesday or Wednesday, and then, you know, Nike store randomly. What some, shoes? Aberg, some stores have special agreements with Nike where they're, like, maybe, like, a new account or something. Where they can charge over box price, or if they're not, if they don't have a Nike authorized dealer license, then they can just charge whatever they want because then they just get them from uh, various Crispy, distributors. Crispy Kick says five thousand dollar fine for not matching your jersey. That's like a dollar to LeBron. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Ben Stark says, "Oh no, who was it?" Yeah. Talking about Ty Lawson, Julian Rodriguez. Yeah, Ty Lawson never matches his his jersey. He's always rocking like random LeBrons that don't match. He was wearing the mangoes last year. <laughs> yeah, he wore the mangoes and cool grays so much. The cool gray nines. The cool grays kind of match though. They got yeah, some yeah, cool grays are straight. Yeah. Cool grays. <laughs> All right, so the grape five has been claimed. Nice. Nice. Who got him? On Twitter? Bay Coast. Nice. Turk. Bay Coast. On Twitter? Good guy. Good dude. Uh, definitely. Yeah, what? Nice. No more need yeah, to double he, up. Yeah, he looks out for people all the time. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. More, more than happy to do this for him. You see, MRJUNC said he got a total of like $330, $330 worth of uh, finish line. Not for lunch, I'm sorry, for luck coupons. I thought you could believe it. that many pairs of grapes. I was like, I believe it. 
I mean, doing lookouts and doing good is is very rewarding. Just he's a prime example. That's like two free shoes right there. Yeah, just by doing good stuff, you know, treating others how you'd like to be treated. Or, or one pair of elites. <laughs> yeah. What are we looking at here? You know, Annie? Uh, it's hard to see. It says, what does it say? Dudes be like grapes on deck, heat on my feet. It's someone in their, with their foot in grapes. It's pretty disgusting. Fighting, uh, what was it? I love Lucy when she was making the wine. Yeah, exactly. No oh. Freddie TV was asking if the retro eights are sitting in your area. Yep, the bugs. Yeah. Yep, he and white phones. He needs a size swap in my tens for a nine and a half. Size swap. Tell me the return. Swap. What was he find a pair for? Him? Just return your pair, and we'll go find a pair for you. Now, I got to sleep on the mangoes, Freddy. Got to sleep on those. I'm going for the women's metrics tomorrow, though. Are those those diamonds? Or, or yeah. Shine bright yeah, like a diamond. So, Nate, you said that you were uh, kind of holding off for Saturday to buy kicks. You buying like 10 pairs tomorrow or what? <laughs> mm. So far, it's up to three, and I'm gonna go hard on eBay tomorrow. Oh shit! He's going ham. I mean, technically, it's only two because you're already giving out the uh, yeah, true. The other so one the goes, grape's so. gone. Yeah, yeah, two retail releases tomorrow, and eBay. <laughs> eBay stalking. I'm looking for older Lebrons. What's your other retail release? Metric Roshi's and Grape oh, Five. Right. That's right. No platinums? No, hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, it's dubstep. He's at the door. <laughs> Billy, you getting the platinums? Yes, sir. Nice. What fuck. about Matt, you? Fucking Billy. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what am I doing? <laughs> What am I getting? <laughs> what are hey, Philly. I'm getting the re Hey, Philly. Hey, Philly. I shipped your Kobe's today. Make sure to do a live unboxing. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Do, it on the yes. do it on the live stream. It's going to be shit senders. <laughs> he did. I bet you did. I got a nice, oh. nice fucking brand new DS yellow pages for you. <laughs> hey, as long as it's still in the wrapper, I'll take it. That was hilarious. You're like, hopefully there's not a phone book in here. A I was like, oh, no, dude, it's going to be a phone book. Mm -hmm. It's funny how everyone has, funny, that though. everyone has that fear. I'll, I'll be getting some Nike.com and I'm still like, crap, I know there's a phone book in here. <laughs> you, <guys should> <laughs> <Nike> <laughs> .com. you got like the wrong shoe, the wrong size or whatever. Nike.com screwed me one time. Well, Henry got a pair without a swoosh. <laughs> yeah. In Fre oh, yeah. Freddy so TV, the, the Bugs ate... Um, House of Hoop, Greenwood Park Mall in Indiana, Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, um, tomorrow I can DM you their store number. Actually, you know what? I'm sure I have a receipt with the store number on it. Google. Uno momento. Uh, your boy <coughs> keeps me ass. Do you guys... Huh? You yeah. broke up. Yeah, store number 077769. Zero, Z zero seven seven six nine. And you're breaking up, Annie. Sorry. Fucking bitches. I think he's froze. We're probably gonna drop off here. Matt, chill, man. Damn, calm down. Yeah, please. That's all I hear is the ding. You dingleberry. <laughs> Tony, Tony. Andy, what happened, man? Am Go I ahead frozen? with your question, man. You're good now. You're good. I'm back. I'm back. What was the question? You were asking one. Oh, I said, do you, uh, your boy <laughs> QC asks, do you guys ever watch Soul Collector Celebrity Sneaker Watch? Yes. No. Sometimes. I, I mean, don't know what it is. I see a nice kick I see the Celebrity Sneaker Stalker. It's oh. very similar to that. Yeah. Very similar to that. A little more in-depth as far as more. Oh, okay. Um, more pictures, yeah. But same like thing. I like that. I like to see what what people are rocking. You I know, think the best thing right now, Chris though, Brown, et cetera, is yeah. Complex Magazine's Quick Strike. Yeah, they had a good one with Spike Lee today. Yeah, real good one. 
every single episode has been pretty dope. There's nothing like the ONT live stream, but it's this second. Yeah. Should get Clark Kent on here sometime. Yeah, I'll get him. He's on the way. Yeah, he's on the way. There's a long waiting list. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, what do we got here? So, we have ten, ten minutes left. We'll get some final questions in here. Let's see. Speaking of that episode, those uh, LeBron 2 SVSMs that the uh, over sick. Oh, yeah, those are dope. LeBron 2s oh, yeah. are underrated, man. That's, that's definitely a sick shoe. Yeah. Let's see. Yo, Auntie's internet is garbage. <laughs> <Her usual. laughs> yeah. I'm on an old laptop right now. That's why it's it's extra mm. crappy tonight. Shout out to Comcast. <laughs> So who here is going to cop those Phoenix Suns eights? Not me. Yes, I was I'm on the cop, fence, but yes. I'm copping those. Oh man. Mm. I love the Cat Four so much. Ah, uh, gotta get those. That's right. It's pretty much a Knicks colorway. It doesn't say purple. It says Deep Royal. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> If you could be a cartoon character, who would you be and why? Bugs Bunny, bro, Lola. Yeah, Freddy. 07769, Greenwood, Indiana, House of Hoop. That's tough. And while we're thinking of that, Mother's oh Day. Oh my god, they're coaching. fighting. What are we giving our mom? On Mother's Day, asks Marvelous West. Blake Griffin. Actually, go all Zach in Randall. with uh, Panera wow. bagels and some flowers. A legit actually, fight? Oh my God! What? Legit? Who? Who is it on TNT? It's on ESPN. What game? Oh, ESPN <laughs> two. What the fuck are they doing? <laughs> Damn it! You watching the Grizzlies Clippers? Are you watching the? Uh... He's watching the Grizzlies Clippers. Oh, uh, or Thunder Houston, okay. And if I, uh, my cartoon character would probably be Homer Simpson, just because he gives no yeah. fucks. <laughs> no. <laughs> See, that, I would have to think about that one for a second. You know, Auntie, I like Swamp Sack, too. What do you think about the, uh, the Kobe 8 Elites? Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, I wonder if they scrapped any. Future colorways because he's not in the playoffs. I mean, honestly, I I, honestly, I can't see them scrapping them, yeah. but because his team did make the playoffs. But I only think that it's just those two coming out, which are just the greens and the black ones. Yeah. Double pass. Just the yeah. green and black. Do you think that's it? I think that's it. Yeah. Are the. Uh, the superheroes still sit, they're sit, sitting on shelves, right? Sitting everywhere. Yep. Wow. Yep. Mm -hmm. I can get them for 140 right now. Wow. I'm, I don't know yet. I'm holding off. If they were limited, y'all would have caught them though, right? Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. It's too much money. Mm -hmm. Definitely too much money. 220? Yep. But they're limited. I don't give a shit. They said one per customer. They weren't limited. Maurice Brandy X, what do you think about the KD6 leaked picks? I really hope those aren't the KD6 picks because those shoes that leaked are garbage. Wild trash. They're, the KD line I've just kind of recognized isn't going to be for me, I don't think. There's not any of the KD models that I, I really like as far as the silhouette and shoe. I mean, some colorways catch my eye, but I could definitely see that being the KD. They're just, I don't know, I'm not feeling that model. Neil Chang needs to get off that crack. Well, what you were saying, though, um, I don't think those are the KD6s. 
just for the fact that so far with the even number KDs, they've had straps on them. And they did it for the twos and they did it for the fours. But why would they not do it for the sixes unless that was just something that was a coincidence? I don't think we're going to see a, a high top KD, though, for a while because as soon as the playoffs came around, KD said he wanted to be lower. So. Back to the low top. Hey Optimus, you saw that you saw this Nike SB uh, phone case. Yeah, yeah, I like that, that phone case in the middle. Cool. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. Because because I saw that today and I was like, that's actually the first sneaker accessory that I actually like really want. You oh know? man, Jake, remember those ones we saw that crushed those? Oh, I have to find the bookmark. The outsole. Oh man, they were fire. I don't. I think it's on my desktop. Darn it! I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to get that info for you, and I'll tweet it, Yo Andy. But there's another company that does those cases for all make and model of phones, from uh, Galaxy, iPhone, the Razer, you name it. And yeah. It's the outsole of all the shoes. Oh man! That's really? Seven Cardinal outsole phone case. Fire. Freddie, get the quick one. They got Jordan's SB. Mm. This guy here, too, he's got a Grape 5 case uh, coming out, too. Jordan on the Wheaties box, box rocking the Grape clothing. Yeah, seen, uh, the case of Sneaker Street's been putting out, right? Yeah, the outsole, that's a great idea. Outsole on a case. It, it, wasn't, it didn't look like a screen printed or like an image. It actually looked like textured. Yeah, that's, that's the key to some of these is, is the quality. It was like fifteen bucks. It was, like was it? Um, but it was still a square, though, right? It was still. It wasn't like etched or anything. Yeah, I mean, it's still the shape of the phone. Yep. Was there etching in in the actual? That would be cool if it had the actual etching, like. In I mean, it the, looked. It looked. It looked three D. It looked like it had some definition to it. That's it pretty look, cool. That's what I mean. It wasn't like a, an image. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. All right, guys. Let's see. Yes. Final questions. Shout out to everyone watching. Shout out to your boy QC, INTD boy. Uh, your boy on the C team, Karen Stacks. Jimmy Snooker, Marvelous Westy. The usual Benny the Bolt, Party Like a Pie. Jay Roy, the usual gang. Thanks for watching. Uh, guys, any final words before we sign off? Merry grapes, miss. Yeah, hope everyone has a great grape miss. Hope hope the grape clause is good. We'll be back. I, I, I'm away next Saturday uh, as well, so we'll be back probably next Friday night. So we'll probably have more of a structured chat uh, for you guys next Friday. But hope you guys enjoyed the the Q and A chat. Uh, I want to thank everyone for joining me, Nate. Thanks for joining us. Always, brother. Philly. Not Billy. Philly. Matt. Yeah, man. Thanks, brother. Jake, great having you as always. No pirates. Henry, great, to, uh, great of you to join. Optimus P. <laughs> oh, no. Optimus uh -huh. P. Thanks for joining. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I already on? got in trouble for this once. Billy, thanks for joining. Pleasure, bro. Let's yeah. go Knicks. Yep. Yep. Uh. Oh, and real quick, um, let me just see here. For some reason, <clears throat> my <laughs> my computer doesn't give me the option to end the broadcast. Well, it looks like we're stuck. <laughs> looks like we're staying on all you night, guys. Do this. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's funny. Just my computer's being, you know. Yeah, it just says preparing preparing broadcast ninety nine percent. Won't let me end it. But um, real quick, let me see. Oh, wow, this game's getting good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to X out of this, and then uh, I'll start another one back up. <laughs>